cycle. We'll keep that one. I'll get it over to Arcus here soon. I think I think he'll have a laugh. Try again. That is my first. You, this, you were my first, Marla. You were my first. <laughs> Collection there. Uh, I noticed that. Oh, is the mic being bad? <laughs> and fall. One, two, fall. Whoa. I beamed forward and killed him with my butt. Look back at the clip. Guaranteed. The sword goes forward and he dies behind me. It's because sometimes when I... Uh, how is pooping in space? Here you. True. Ha! True. What happened? He says, I have IBS, which is irritable syndrome. My tummy is always rumbling. And I said, tummy rumbling unite. And then that is TRU, which is true. So instead I could just say true. Sharon, I just sent Slack 50 bucks. Get that kid a new stretch arm strong. We sent fifty dollars for a controller, but we can get him a new stretch arm for him. We can get him. <laughs> what a dick! Ah, free jump, and we missed the free jump. Rip. So, are kicking that guy and having his explosion be somewhere right around your crotch? Crotch explosion, like that. Choreo carcinoma, warmongering. Deleterious immunodiagnosis. Quirty, what's going on, man? <laughs> Command list is a bit outdated, I know. Okay. You know, I would have. Did you see that? That's what I'm talking about. That's the jump rope right there. <laughs> Supposed to go left here. Go left! <laughs> How stupid am I? That was weird. Why does it say cheer? It's putting him in... What? The hot potato game. It's putting him in different chat messages. That's not what we want. There's enters in there. Now how many do I need? P. Puny. I feel a little... Yeah, okay, so you'd probably be able to... Ha! <laughs> He's still alive! Yeah! That makes two of them. Get the hell out of my house! Now, you can get spawns where they're literally to the right and left of you when you enter. Which, just see that? Okay, uh, some buttons. Which means we've only got... Let me set a timer on the phone, that's smarter. So we're 20 minutes in, and I needed to drop this hops at 45 minutes. So I've got 25 more minutes to drop the hops. 25 more minutes. Oh, my brain is not working right now. Timer. Clock. No ordering in that, but look what number 27 is. Z1. We've got Z1, and on one side it makes perfect sense to be Donkey, Donkey Kong Classic, and on the other side, wh why wouldn't we have Contra. <laughs> Them. I love monkey butts. Just for you. Okay, I have to go. Fuck you.
Fuck <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Not fun. Hold on. Ah, what a morning. Have you seen my wiener? What's up, Kung Fu Crickets? Still a kid at heart. Good morning. Scarpup, Mr. Nintendork. Caratic. Caratus. Caratus. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Stay a while and listen. Caratus. Good morning. Well, American Dream. <coughs> dream. You know that American Dream sound? That gets my uh, that gets my YouTube uh, unmonetized. I fail to see the problem Isn't that weird? Being covered in chili. This is dumb. Everything's so dumb. It's like carrot toss, but all together, carrot toss. Oh, that makes more sense. <clears throat> you know, I I wish I could. Think better sometimes. Hey, Dream, you got yourself a, a, a key. Good, good for you. Yeah, we're going to go through uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, or at least attempt to do uh, some Super Mario Brothers 3 this morning before getting started uh, on the Jaws world record attempts. Ooh, wrong game. Back. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, just going to start the morning off a little bit of Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, I'm not going to reset anything. I'm just going to go through the game. If I take deaths, then I'm going to have to either get more items somewhere or do whatever that makes it work. So uh, we don't really have to keep track of things. It's just because... <clears throat> I noticed yesterday that five straight hours of uh, uh, five straight hours of Jaws resets is a little bit too much for my brain to handle. So <clears throat> uh, having something else that we kind of start with, I think it's going to be a good way to g kick the day off. You know what I mean? But we are going to spend the majority of the time uh, doing all right, you primitive uh, doing Jaws up. runs. I also don't want to forget this route too much. Caritas. Bum, bum, squeeze. <laughs> nice try, generic. Nice try. Mm -hmm. 
Got our fire, fire flower early, that's nice. Yay! Gotta collect all the coins in this one. If you collect at least 44, you get an early uh, poutine finger. Moldy mushroom. Thank you. Poutine finger. Mario gets sunshine. Still get it hard. Incorrect. Incorrect. Oops, missed that jump. use these, we just collect them. Making game streams. Norp. Is there still a bad D command that says he sucks a lot? That's so funny. Whoops, we jumped this whole thing, don't we? Yes, we do. Monosodium glutamate. Incorrect. What's up, Buzz? How are we doing this morning? Ladies and gen- Buzz! Why are- Why don't you come to Nest Fest this year? I would love it if Buzz Thunder came to Nest Fest this year. Why do I feel like you're not on the West Coast? Like, have we had this conversation before? Ooh, extra fire. Buzz, you can be my plus one. But we have to sleep in Matt's bed. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only That's not terrible. Big jump. Got it. 
Hi. How are ya? Get squished. Ogiel has just chatted about that last night. Trying to get me there. Characters, you should go. You should go. So have you ever desired to sit down with a bunch of people that also like to play the Nintendo and beat as many games as you can and eat food and drink beer and be right above a giant retro game convention for a weekend? Doesn't get much better than that. Does not get much better than that. My giant sausage. That's getting closer. Where is Nestfest at? You're in North Carolina. Nestfest is Hartford, Connecticut. So we do uh, Hartford, Connecticut hosts Retro World Expo, which is a really big retro gaming convention. Uh, August 20th. Uh, third week of August, third weekend of August, something like that. I can get you exact uh, dates and whatnot. Um, but we host during the event in the hotel. So there's a convention center hotel. So big hotel conventions underneath it. On the fourth floor, we host Nest Fest, where a bunch of us go there and we try to beat as many games as we can. We have a live stream. We've got, you know, three or four setups for recording gameplay. And then I'm bringing another uh, three or four CRTs for practicing. And essentially, yeah, August is, uh, Matt's got it. It's August 23rd to 25th. Uh, TK Mode, you're in Connecticut. TK Mode, have you ever went to the Retro World Expo? Squish. I'm up in Canadianinadia as well. We're joking about driving across the border together. Oh, the questions. Yeah, uh, well, so last year, uh, Ugly Owl and I uh, carpooled. So he, he drove across the border and then we met up and then we uh, went the rest of the way together. Um, we've got room for more. There's always room for more. Okay, so Matt just dropped a link to the event. If you're interested, so that is Retro World Expo. That is a, it's a great retro gaming event. We're not affiliated with them, but we do an event at the same thing, at the same hotel where we, a bunch of us get together. It was never an event, it was, a, it was just a get together. We've turned it into a live streaming event. If you would like to go to Nest Fest, which is the thing that we do, then uh, we're, we're getting the Discord situated. There is a Nestfest Discord. Uh, that'll be up here really soon. You can reach out directly through my Discord to Sassy McPhee. Uh, she will be the one getting you all situated uh, with all of the things that you need. I love to play some games fast with you guys. So Kung Fu Crickets, the great part about Nestfest is uh, the goal is the goal is to beat games and have fun. It's not a structured event. There's no time things. If you want to do a speed run, you can do a speed run. Uh, if you want, there's the form. Matt just dropped in the link. There's the form to fill out if you want to go. Uh, been playing a lot of Jaws lately. 30 under 40, I have. I have. We're going to be doing more world record attempts uh, uh, today. Hey, you shut your poutine. So uh, the one thing that I want to say about it is it is not in any way a requirement to be good. Uh, last year, we had a couple people play some games. Uh, New York Mike played Bayou Billy and uh, game, game over it on the last boss. We are so excited for New York Mike this year to put Bayou Billy in and get his redemption. It's about hanging out and having fun. And it's, it, it, it's less about... Like with games done quick, it's all about like trying to showcase the speed run. You don't have to do a speed run at all. All you have to do is beat the game or, and you don't even have to do that. Uh, a lot of it's just silly. Like I said, there's the live stream up front 
where we do kind of silly fun things and we try to raise money for the event. And then in the back, there's going to be three different setups to just record you playing through the game to see if we can beat as many as we over. Last year, we beat just over 100 games. Um, and then there's the practice tables. Now, uh, the live stream, we're doing fun things that are like one-offs. Like Matt D is going to play tubing while in a tube while in beach attire while everyone else on the couch is eating spicy food. We did it last year. I don't even know why it happened last year. Now it's a thing. There's little things that are becoming tradition. Uh, oh, I know where I am now. That is you. Beep. Bop. Uh, we will have the Discord up to get all of the information uh, very soon. For now, feel free to ask questions. And if you really want, if you really want, and you're knowing, like, I want to go, you need to fill out that form and get in contact with Sassy. I Sassy is the, the hotel liaison uh, about getting, uh, they're running out of rooms at the hotel. So you need to do that. There's other hotels in the area, and you can easily go to the event uh, and not be in the same hotel which is fine. You know, you can just quickly walk back and forth to things. Uh, if you want a hotel in the, the, in the same place, you better act fast. Working on my star ID requirements for flights. Uh, Dream, if you can make it, that would be amazing. If I go, I demand spicy chili. You can bring it. Well, you may not be able to bring it. There's a days in real close. There's plenty of hotel options. Uh, but we are going to be running out of options at the actual hotel uh, itself. But I think there's some, the, the event's very special to me because it started out, the first time we went to Hartford was just a bunch of us getting together. Um, we were going to the con, but I remember it being uh, the retro runner, uh, some of his crew and a bunch of the guys with me and we had a small hotel room and there was like 25 people in it and it was a blast we did it again the next year the next year now we've added this event to it because 8-bit steve and uh and i well steve asked the question years ago and then i've kind of i've kind of jumped on the bandwagon for this this idea could you ever get together enough people in one spot so that those people could beat every Nintendo game in in one in one sitting? Uh, maybe not one day. You know, some games are going to take longer than a day just to beat, uh, and that's always intrigued us. Well, last year we did a hundred, and this year we plan to do more, and next year maybe we'll do more. Uh, with the absurd goal to think that one day at Nest Fest we will we will sit down and as a group beat every Nintendo game. You know, we'll get we'll break out the miracle piano and someone will play through that. We'll have setups for everybody. It may have it may end up if it's a big enough event, it may end up having to move sometime and not be able to take place where it is. But uh, really a fun idea. And like I said, it doesn't hinge on this idea. Yes, we're trying to beat them all, but you don't have to do some fantastic speed run. Just have fun. I think there are still people with rooms that are willing to share. That's why you should fill out that form uh, through uh, Sassy. If you're interested in going and you're like, I don't want to buy my own room, maybe there's someone that wants to share a room, get a hold of Sassy. She's making those connections between people. That form lists the days you're going to be there, whether you have a room, whether you're willing to share, uh, and we can pair people up. How about some Contra? I can make a run with it with, uh, without extra lives. TK mode, whatever you want to run. Whatever you want to run. Uh, in that form, it tells the games that you're willing to beat on stream. You may, it's kind of like a first come first serve. We're not, we are not scheduling things. So we will be playing games and someone will finish their game and we'll be like, all right, who's up next? Uh, 8-Bit Steve had a really good idea. I think, whoa, wrong, wrong platform. 
he had a really good idea. I think we're going to have a whiteboard uh, that is hanging on the wall where you can write your name and the games you're willing to play. And when there's room for someone to sit down, we're going to go to the whiteboard and be like, hey, TK mode is, wants to do Contra. Has anybody beat Contra? No? Sit down and play. Maybe it's on the big screen on the live stream. Maybe it's just in one of the recording booths. Uh, you know, we're not over scheduling the event. The event to me, it's important that it feels like just a bunch of people hanging out playing Nintendo and not this very rigidly scheduled event. I don't want anyone to feel nervous. I went to uh, GDQ where Retro Runner did his Ninja Gaiden. After he got the world record, he did a Ninja Gaiden speed run. It was, it was amazing, don't get me wrong, but the buildup and being on the stage in front of everybody, the look in his eyes, the nerve level, he crushed it. He crushed it in front of 60,000 viewers in a live stream. You know, it's like, it was great. But that's not playing video games with your friends. That's doing this crazy event. I don't want this event to feel that way. Last, last year, it was just a bunch of nerds hanging out in a hotel room. You sit down and you play a game and it's so casual and that's what I want it to be. Wellsish, you should come too. Maddie did Castlevania 1, Mega Man 3, and Tubin. Retro Runner, he, I tell you what, I've got a short video clip that I don't, I, I gave it to him and I've never like shown it off or released it. Of, I filmed him right before he went on and you can see in his eyes the dread of how nervous he was. And we, when we, when we got there, we got on stage, we couldn't get the Ninja Gaiden cart to work. We're messing around with the Ninja Gaiden to get it to work and eventually he's like, heck with it licks his finger, rubs it along the cart, puts it back in, and it fires up. Uh, like last minute before we went live, because they were doing like the countdown and stuff. He was so nerved up that I'm just sitting there going, oh no, oh no. The moment it was like, all right, go. He turned into Retro Runner, the entertainer, and nailed it. It was awesome. And so, like, don't get me wrong, like, those experiences are really cool, but that's not what I'm, that's not what I like about Nest Fest. Nest Fest is just no worries, people hanging out, uh, eating good food, having drinks, and, and sitting on a couch playing Nintendo. Mm -mm. Rockin' Too Wild, just reminding you our vision from, uh, yeah, vision from YouTube. Good morning. Courtney, it was a great, it was a really good event. Uh, I really enjoyed, I would never want, guys, I, I get nervous. Uh, I did, I did a live, uh, or I did a G GDQ event, but it was uh, live streamed. I did Fax Xanadu and a race of Kung Fu. I don't know if I've ever been that nervous in my life. I didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it at all. I doubt they'll ever have a faster Ninja Gaiden run. No, I, I, I would stake some money on that. No one will ever beat Ninja Gaiden on GDQ as fast as Retro Runner did. He had a plate kill on the run. He finishes it with a plate kill, which is, there's only a handful of people in the world that do plate kills, and he did it live first try. I mean, it's, it is an incredible run. Yo! <clears throat> boo do boobs. Do I want to stock up? I feel like I should stock up a little extra here. Because if I take a, a hit, I want to be able to kind of... I know I've got an extra firepower. And there, that'll work. And why don't I grab... Ah, let's just keep going. So, uh, Retro Runner will be there. Right now, we probably have 20 or 30 people that are at the event. 
if you so here's here's a couple things about the event just for everyone to know uh, we've got a hospitality suite with adjoining room uh, it's going to cost us two to three thousand dollars for the room for the event so there is a cover charge for people that want to go take part in the food and the the live stream and stuff like that so uh, we're doing fifty dollars for the four days which is I feel like a really uh, a really fair deal uh, and if you're interested in going we are quite a few months out right now but we already have 20 or 30 people we will have to I feel like there's a very good chance we'll have to limit the amount of people that can go so I wouldn't wait on it if you're thinking about going making make sure you uh, fill out that form uh, and talk to Sassy about you know where you're staying or whatever. Uh, 22 people signed up thus far on the form, and I know of another 10 because uh, I don't think Retro Runner and his crew. There's there's three to four people right there that I don't think have signed up on the form. So I don't know if we're gonna eventually have to cut it off at 50, and I think those spots will fill up pretty quickly. Uh, so don't dally if you're thinking about going. Don't dally. Dilly. Don't dilly or dally. Not to 50. Not to 50! Whoops. <laughs> the most difficult jump in the game! You got it. It is the Lost Boys. You're smart. Generic, you're smart. Anybody ever tell you you're smart? You're smart. Um, there will be... There, there's an added fun bonus this year. Like I said, we're doing a $50 cover to get into the event. That helps just pay for the room. Uh, oh, I didn't manipulate this. Whatever. Then we're also doing, if you want to support the event a little bit more, you really like it, you have a lot of fun, you want to support the event, you can bump up to $100 and you'll get what we call like the swag package. You'll get into the event, you're going to get a lanyard, you're going to get a, a Nesfest t-shirt, and uh, Ugly Owl is coming here from Canada and we're brewing beer. Uh, we're going to brew three different types of beer and uh, we're going to put together what we call the slack pack of craft beers. If you are the $100 tier, you're going to support the event that way. You'll get a t-shirt and you will get six beers that we brewed. Uh, that's kind of like the top tier. You're helping out the event that much more, making it so we can do it every year. Uh, I wanted to brew beer for the event, but I can't brew beer and take kegs of beer there and and uh i'm just making uh six packs of beer up for the people that uh donate the the hundred dollars for their entry and like i said we're gonna get there thursday and be there thursday friday saturday sunday that's a long event uh to be able to be part of and it's well worth it I'm going to make the beer and I'm putting the $100 in because I want it to happen every year. <laughs> Who, what, where? I heard beer. Uh, Who, what, where? Who is the cool people? What is, are beating as many Nintendo games as possible? Where is the Retro World Expo in Hartford, Connecticut? And the beer is the beer that we're brewing here. We're going to brew that beer uh, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. So we'll be brewing that beer the, the 20th of April. So in 10 days. First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Blow. Matt D's gonna put in a hundred and one dollars. He's that guy. 
Matt D, he'd be a fantastic contestant on The Price is Right. He'd be great. I can't pronounce the handle here on TikTok. Can I get Ahoya? Oh yeah! Whoa! Oh yeah! No! Can I get? I'm just gonna go. Oh yeah! Can we do that? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Thank you for joining the TikTok stream. If you like watching uh, l- retro live streams, uh, this is not only on TikTok. Uh, you also can catch it on the, the, the other live things, the YouTube and the Twitch and, uh, the other things. I, I, I'm more of a Twitch streamer than anything, but I'm doing multi-streaming because now Twitch allows that, uh, just to, I don't know, get more people involved and whatnot. But the Twitch stream is a much more interactive experience if you're interested in that. Oh, yeah. Did you get the Jaws World Record yesterday? Nah, Match, we had some really good attempts, but I got burned out. I mean, five hours of resetting Jaws is a lot. So I thought I would start the day with a fun playthrough of uh, Mario 3, uh, no damage, and then go from there. But yeah, we'll be right back to Jaws. Any snail. Yeah, Mario 3. So we routed Mario 3 for no damage. I've already beaten it without damage using the using the warp whistles, which is not really that big of a deal. It's still fun, but I've always wanted to uh, I've always wanted to go through the game every going through every world and doing it without damage. So that's what this is. Uh, now I, I do get questions like, oh, you're going through every stage. I'm not going through every stage. Uh, for example, when we get over here, we can do four or five to get by. I just do one of them. I don't want to play the game all day. I, there's, I, I do the one that I feel like is easier. I'm not using warp whistles to skip worlds, but I'm also not going out of my way to do every single world. TK Mode says, I just filled out the Nest Fest form. I am legit 22 minutes away. TK Mode, we're glad to have you. Glad to have you. Uh, if you're looking to do, so if you're, if you're looking to guarantee that you can get some games in, potentially try to learn a couple oddball games. Try to, we're going to have the website up so we'll have a list of games that people think they can do. Try to fill in some gaps. Remember, our goal is to beat every game eventually. Uh, Buzz, you're 16 hours and 22 minutes away. That's similar. I think uh, 8-Bit Steve is 14 hours away. Um, because if you choose something like Contra, the majority of the people that are there are going to be able to beat Contra. That'll be a game that you'll probably have a lot of people willing to play. Not to say you won't be able to play it. In fact, I don't care if people play a game twice. There's no no real rules. If you want to play Contra, uh, and if we've got room on the live stream, play Contra. If we've already beat it, who gives a shit? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fun. We're also going to try to keep the live stream going 24 hours a day for those three or four days. So if you want to play Contra real bad, it's already been done, but you're up and it's three in the morning, play Contra. Uh, do you have anybody to do Bionic Commando? Match, like I said, we need to get those games listed down. Main, the best thing that you can do if you really want to play a game, we're looking to have a whiteboard there. Get there, write your name on the whiteboard, say Bionic Commando. When a spot opens up in the back or on the live stream, we're going to look there and be like, is Match here? He wants to play Bionic Commando? Let's go. Uh, so that's going to be kind of the flow to it. Oh, I don't know. TK mode. I don't think anybody's vouched for uh, Iron Sword yet. That'd be great to play. Ah, that game's a great game. So, Buzz, you'd ha- you'd probably want to fly. Uh, we-, we would have to fly Buzz out there. Uh, Any Snail says, I've only beat Mario 3 once with a Game Genie back in the day. Oh, cool. Uh, 
I am going to uh, any snail right now. My my best attempt is. I'm trying to think now. What is my best? I had a two hit. So I've been through the whole game and I only got hit twice. That's my best attempt so far. Jump! Thank you, Mr. Nintendo. Have a fantastic day! And Mr. Nintendork's gonna be there, and Sassy McPhee's gonna be there. Oh. Wait, Julie Cat, why didn't I- Oh, you suck! Oh, I saw the name! I saw the name! Why didn't I know? Gigi on not getting eaten by fish. I hate that thing so much. I take this time to blame Matt Dehe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is jump scare. I played my intro, you had your warning. I didn't hear it, I was busy talking. Navar, thank you for the 32 months. Oh, man. Jump scare brought to you by Multibot. Ladies and gentlemen, down here you'll see the Multibot bar. Multibot is a software that I've been developing with a few friends to help your live stream become more interactive. Uh, we have different bots for chat integration and clips and emote stuff, but we also have this little bot here called Jump Scare where you can uh, have people pay money to play loud sounds that scare you. So yes, I just scared and pooped a little, but I made $10 as a, as a live streamer. Mo Thanks, Multibot. Thank you. <laughs> ah. I, it, I, I think it makes Julie Cat happy. So that makes me happy-ish. Ish. I think they, not, not, but not a lot, but a little. Uh, for those that are, are, are interested in also pooping themselves, uh, you can download Multibot, uh, exclamation point Multibot in the chat. You can download Multibot for free. It is a, uh, it is a free to use uh, software. Uh, that gives you a lot of tools and bots to use in your live stream. Uh, but if you would like to charge bits for the, the tools, it's one of those, uh, we don't ask for money unless you get money. So if you want to start using bits and getting $10 for Jump Scare, then it is a $10 uh, uh, Patreon thing. Retro Bicycle, is it open source? It is not. It is not. It is a labor of love uh, for a couple of us for the last four years. Mm -mm. Uh, Retro Bicycle, it has some really, really cool features. There's a lot of uh, helpful things in Multibot for a Twitch streamer. Um, we added some very, I feel like, very unique things to the bot that you don't get anywhere else. <clears throat> for example, there's a bot here called the Emote Bot, and... Uh, Look at me, ready? Let me just take, let's take a quick uh, look real quick. 
Hi, it's me, I'm down here. This is Multibot. When you download it, this is the bot bar that you will get. You can see bots are glowing uh, green if I have the bot turned on. But there's a bot here called Live Studio Audience. Live Studio Audience is a little bot that can just live in your Twitch chat. And essentially all it does is read and look for keywords that will set off sounds that a Live Studio Audience would make. Ah. So I set the, the volume, I can test the sounds. Ah, there's a volume. So now I have an audience and with one click, download Multibot, you sign in, one click, and now if you guys write words in chat, that would signal like LOL for laughing, good job clapping, uh, boo for booing. Ah, you get an automatic audience that lives in your chat that can make the sound. No need to upload, uh, no need to upload files, no need to create uh, uh, different commands. The bot takes care of that itself. It's got a list of, it's got a list of words that it's going to look for uh, that it uses to, to play the sounds. There, I don't, uh, I don't tend to use live studio audience because we've got a lot of other things. But for a new streamer, someone that's just got into live streaming, to be able to uh, quickly just press one button and have that functionality is is very neat. There is a text to speech bot. Uh, we've got the jump scare bot where you can set for ten dollars. When this is on for ten dollars, it'll play a loud sound. You saw it earlier. Scares the shit out of me. I only do it once a day because I just don't like it. Uh, Celebration is a really cool bot. This allows uh, chat to set fireworks off in your stream. So for example, for $2.50, uh, we, can, we can set uh, fireworks off. Let's see, if, let's see if I can get someone to give me their money. For $2.50, fireworks will go off. Good morning, Jaggy Man. I'm not, I'm not even gonna stream until you give me your money. That's only one bit, Navar. Yeah, we did it. Holy cow, thank you so much. This is great! Oh, they're pretty! <laughs> there you go! So that's the idea. Multibot gives some functionalities to the streamer. There's a lot more than that. Check it out. Like I said, it's free to download. The only thing that you'll ever pay for with Multibot is if you want to start charging bits, like the $2.50 right there for fireworks. If you're just using the free version, Ooh, Julie, you guys forgot to do the wolf. If you're using the free version, uh, there will be a command for fireworks. You won't be able to charge bits for it. Uh, and that's the only difference between the two. Lock and Kane, thank you so much for the Prime sub for five months. Five months. On purpose. What am I doing? Where are we? We're over here now. Okay. Let's check to see if I've got everything situated. I don't have jump scare on, so that's a good one. Uh, do you hope to have multibot for Mac in the future? Retro Dismiss, our goal, if we can start getting, so it's like I said, it's a labor of love and multibot doesn't make any money. If we could actually bring some funding into multibot, we would love to grow that uh, more. Some of the things that we'd like to do is, yes, we want to do Mac versions. We also want to be able to bring Multibot out of, right now, Multibot is Twitch alone. But there's no reason why we couldn't make Multibot uh, a YouTube live stream, Kick, Twitch, all of the platforms still work with them. Uh, limited time, limited funding, we do what we can. Uh, if you want to join, there's a Discord for Multibot. Uh, you can get in there, you can ask questions. It's a community grown project. Uh, a lot of the features that we have are from people saying, hey man, wouldn't it be really cool if we had this? And we, we, we take the time to program those things in. Uh, eventually we would like to have the multi-bot bar 
uh, customizable. So if there's a bot like Jump Scare that you'll never use, you can remove it from the bar. Customize the bar with the bots that you want. No, thank you. No, thank you. But th thank you for offering, Julie Kit. When, it, when you do. Retro Dismas, that's awesome. Um, I don't know... Ooh, this is Shave the Turtles. Uh, I don't know when uh, when the the possibility for a, a Mac version will be. <laughs> Shave the turtles, don't use wax. Shave the turtles! There's no reason, watch your feet! Oh. There's no reason I don't kill the turtles, all except for this silly joke about shaving the turtles reminds me what world I'm on, or what stage I'm on. Like, oh yeah, shave the turtles, this this one. Wonder Boy, you bet I'm enjoying my coffee. Are you enjoying a cup of coffee? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Da -da -da -da. Da -da Run! Hell yeah! A strong black cup of coffee. Sassy, we've been talking about you all morning. Your butt itches, I bet. Isn't that what happens when people talk about you? I'm pretty sure it, it, that's a saying. You know, someone's been talking about you, you can tell your butt itches. At least when I talk about people, it makes their butt itch. Anyone enjoy playing Kid Dracula? Doesn't the guy come from here? There he is. Beep, 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 beep. Um, I never played Kid Dracula myself. You were wondering what happens to your butt? Mm -hmm. Wasn't Kid Dracula a Famicom game? Was was there a was there an NES release? For Kid Dracula? I thought that was a Famicom game. Creepy things, I hope. Nest festy things. Nest festy things. Sploosh. Let's go. Sploosh. Sweet low. Mm. Julie Cat, thank you for the 25 bits. Mm. <clears throat> As you guys watch, this is a fantastic game right here that you can play in the Twitch chat. If you're on TikTok, it's up here. Uh, it is called uh, MASG. It's the miraculous and awesome, totally tubular arrow shooter game of justice forever. Uh, it's a great game, short name. That's what we say. Uh, what a great game and such a short name. Die, you jerk. Oh, whoo, Huttamalaya. I normally fly at the beginning of this, don't I? But I think I've got a way of doing it without flying.
Oh, you stepped on my fireball. Mayo or Miracle Whip? Mayo. I When I was a kid, I was a Miracle Whip kid. The Miracle Whip kid and the Mayo Man. That's what I say. I actually have that tattooed on my butt. It's important. Holy cow, it's going to try his luck with the bow. Miracle Whip is the wrong answer. Mo's like, I was an idiot when I was a kid. <clears throat> That's called evolution. Duke is the only mayo. Uh, I, I agree that mayos are different and could potentially be better or worse, but they're not... It's not as important to me to be like... It's more important, and I, and I can still do uh, Miracle Whip. I don't do it on purpose, but I don't know. Woo! Hot Jambalaya! Miracle Whip is the bucket of condiments. I don't disagree with that. I do not disagree with that. Starting a contest, and if we hit our donation goal, Slack gets Mayo Man tattooed on his butt. No. No. I have no desire to get a tattoo. I'm willing to do other silly things, but I'm not willing to brand my ass with Mayo Man. The more you know. I have 15 Marios. Mm, 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 mm. Shoot them all with your balls. Shoot them in their butts. Shoot them all with your balls. And shoot them in their butts. Shoot them with your balls. Shoot them where? In their butts. Shoot them all with your balls. Shoot them with your balls in their Imagine butts. So slack. Get miracle yeah. whip boy on one cheek and mayo man on the other. Uh, how about no? Exclamation point, Texas. <laughs> Get miracle whip boy on one cheek and mayo man on the other. Accurate, but not gonna happen. Accurate? but not going to happen. What is in two? Why do I feel like I'm supposed to remember something in World 4-2? It's my thinking face. It's the water one, isn't it? It is. Yup. Huh. You're a lovely plant of death. Here, hold this. Thank you. Whee! Give me it! Crap. Well, I've got an extra firepower. And these guys can be jerks. So we're not going to risk it. 
That's right. I don't risk the biscuit. We might as well check to see if we can replenish that power of the fire. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'll eat that. Mmm, mushrooms. I run, run real fast. Now I go down the pipe. Skibidi be boo boops. Skibidi be boo boops. Skibidi be boo boops. Skibidi be boo boops. Skibidi be rubidi boops. Skibidi be rubops. Skibidi be rubops. Skibidi be rubops. Skibidi be rubops. Squish. Hello. Good twiddling. Skibby dibby rubops. Skibby dibby rubops. Thero, Super Mario Bros. 3 is great. There's a, it's a very fun and good way to start the day. Squish. You can't touch my butt. 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 There's a block right here and a block over there, and that's how we get on top. I liked it because it felt like I had control where I could go as a kid. I had options. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as linear as some of the other ones were, that's for sure. Get wrecked! So, I don't know if I have the extra, extra firepower, but I think I do. So we're going to do a thing. We're going to use the wings of P here. What's up, Chaser? That troll. I thought about it yesterday, doing your troll. This is fun. It was the thought that counts. I counted it. Lakito is winning. Hurry up, Slack. Nah, -uh. I crushed his skull. They called me Skull Crusher. Poop! Hold the counter. He loves to what? Loves to what? I'm terrified of PAL versions of things. Why, they're slow. Most of the time, the PAL version of games are just a slower, easier version. That's not always true. <clears throat> shoot them all with your balls. And shoot them in their butts. Shoot them all with your balls and shoot them in their butts shoot them with your balls shoot them where in their butts shoot them all with your balls shoot them in their butts with your fire balls shoot them all with your balls and shoot them in their butts they shoot them all with your balls 
and shoot them in their butts. Shoot them all with your balls. Shoot them where? In their butts. Shoot them with your fireballs. It's a great song. It's a great song. It's gonna go, uh... Uh... Copper, I think. On the charts. Go, uh... Copper. Aluminum, perhaps. Just as I was getting up for Super Mario Brothers run, my SNES died. I'm hoping it's just a capacitor. Oh no, gross. I've never had anything, uh, any of my systems flat out die. It would be, it would be sad. I would have much sadness and great displeasure. Squish. The big jump. It's squish. Mm, squish. I thought about squishing those guys, and then I decided not to. Bitch. All right, I gotta manip this. Yeah, I am sad, but there is a guy here who speaks English. Okay, that loves retro is gonna help you. Great! I don't remember which airship this is. I shouldn't have taken a week off of this game. Oh, this is the really slow one. I think I can just hold forward here. Yeah, right off of my butt. Yeah. <gasps> Woo! Hot jambalaya. There's a hole there. What the shit. Royalty, good morning. Welcome. How are you this morning? Good morning. All right, can we make the jump? Nope. A terrible miss. All right, we're good. Shitty thing to have happen. That's our first hit. I haven't uh, sept yet, but otherwise I'm good. I haven't sept yet. Can't wait for you to sep. Really. We are all on pins and needles, waiting the moment of your sep. Sept. That's our first hit of the playthrough, and it happened at the end of World Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another uh, finger there. Um, I think I'm going to stop streaming on TikTok because TikTok... I don't know. It just causes me problems. I mean, TikTok is an extra chat where I've had two people chat in the last uh, hour and then it constantly disconnects and stuff. But the problem is, is some really awesome people have come over from TikTok. So it's like, I don't want to stop streaming on TikTok, but it really is a pain in the butt. It eats up all the good internets. The internet's been really good with, with or without TikTok. Hold on, has, uh, 
Has Ro Red Royalty sept yet? Mm -hmm. Big Owl, thank you for the GL. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. K Broman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wander Boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going. I'm just going back through chat that I completely ignored. Uh, why? But I've never got past the second level on this game. The second world. You know, I didn't play it much growing up. I really didn't. Uh, I should have firepower here, but I really don't remember what, what world this is. This is world five. Do I need firepower for this world? I'm going to do it just in case, but because I don't know. Let's see what would have happened. Yeah. Firepower is nice for this world. I didn't need it, but it is nice. Because of this spot. I'm glad I got firepower. No, literally the second level. Like, first world, second level? Alright, that's... I think most people got past that one. Should we do the card game and get some more firepower? Maybe worth it. We don't have that many more, and I know which I, I know which one we're on. Uh, so like yo and yo, uh huh. Yo and yo, yo and yo, yo and yo and yo and yo. This will just open us up if we wanted to do another card game. Well, Red Royalty, uh, you are you are in an interesting spot if you want to learn about uh, old video games. Uh, I like to beat old video games, but I like to beat them without taking uh, any damage from the evildoers. So I do no damage. Uh, playthroughs, we call them flawless NES, so flawless playthroughs on the Nintendo or the NES. Uh, right now we're working on, I've got a couple projects going right now. I tend to get distracted, uh, but we're doing Super Mario Brothers 3, no damage, also no warps. I've done it with warps, now we're doing it without. Uh, I'm also working on Battletoads, I have a... Uh, a two hit in Battletoads, I believe, is my my best. I have a uh, a couple one hits in the Legend of Zelda. We're working on that one as well. Mm -mm. It's not a lack of skill. You've beaten Mario Brothers. Yeah, it's probably not a lack of skill. I don't know why you have such a hard time. I feel feel like maybe you haven't played it enough. Oh, gross. Actually, that's a decent one to have because that tells me where I am. I just wanted an extra firepower because I lost mine. That's enough. And this will give me my guaranteed saber tooth beaver suit. Sabertooth, Beaver Suit. Battletoads slaps. You beat Battletoads with two hits, even uh, the speeder level. Uh, yeah, Red Royalty, like I said, that's my go-to. If you're on YouTube, you can check out, my channel's got a playlist called Flawless Ness, uh, where I've beaten uh, almost 30 old Nintendo games without damage. Uh, I tend to focus on either really popular Nintendo games, uh, trilogies, stuff like that, or games that were just notorious for being really difficult. Uh, my, my journey, I guess you could call it, in uh, damageless playthroughs started with Ninja Gaiden. Uh, Ninja Gaiden was known to be impossible to beat without taking damage, and uh, I became the first person to ever do that. And I got some... I got my 15 seconds of fame with that, but I also got a love for doing the challenges. So after the Ninja Gaiden challenge, uh, I kept 
wanting to do more no-hit challenges. Uh, and like I said, there's a bunch of them on there. Uh, I've done the Castlevania trilogy. Uh, I've done the first the first two Double Dragons. Uh, I've done a let, uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Uh, we skipped to the Super Nintendo. I did A Link to the Past Without Damage. That was a really fun playthrough. Um, Ghost and Goblins. The original Ninja Turtles with the damn level. That was a... a a uh, really asked for and fun playthrough. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you for the likes and follows on TikTok. Please, TikTok, ask more questions. TikTok is very quiet. I like to say, the more you know, the more you know, the more fun you're going to have while you're in the live stream. So please ask questions. It makes me sad that TikTok chat is so quiet. I do a pretty okay job of keeping up with multiple chats. My mainstream is on uh, is on Twitch, but I do my best to uh, to interact with both uh, Twitch and YouTube and TikTok and. Look at that! That was a, a finger there, poutine finger. What do you use for a simulator? Uh, I don't print. Uh, I use the original cart or the original, uh, the original Nintendo with the original cart. Um, so we've got the original brick controller. I've got a uh, Nintendo and a CRT TV. So I don't use anything as a simulator. I do practice on something that's called an EverDrive. This allows me to load uh, save states using the uh, original hardware. Uh, that way all the timing stays the same and all of that stuff. So I do practice uh, using some emulation. In a way, it's not exactly like an emulator on a computer. Uh, it does function the same way. Um, and that's because some of these challenges that I do are <laughs> ridiculous to do, so uh, being able to efficiently practice is good. Like, uh, you have the original Nintendo also. Nice! I'm a nerd. Uh, I'm a huge uh, retro geek. Uh, I like the nostalgia of the original stuff. Red Royalty is now on Twitch! Hey, Mom! Mom! Red Royalty's on Twitch now, Mom! Mom? Huh. I don't think she's here. I don't think she's here. Red Royalty, thank you for the follow, and thank you for joining us on Twitch. Anytime we can bring new people to Twitch, I will tell my mom. I will do that. I don't really think she cares, though. Just so you know. Uh... I don't think she cares. Water being out like that it's yeah. She doesn't care, I don't think so. And Jagar, thank you for the gift sub to Red Royalty. Red Royalty, welcome in. And enjoy your complimentary bag of nuts. Uh, courtesy of Jagar. Have you ever done that with your mom actually there? No. <laughs> No, I haven't. My mom has been in this, in this stream before. She thinks it's funny to pop in from time to time. For SNES, I use a Superboy with original cartridge. Uh, print, I have, like I said, I've got my uh, original Nintendo. Down here is my, oop, there it is, is my Super, and then over there is my 64. So uh, on the live stream, I, I tend to keep it retro, and I use the three original consoles. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Going actual hardware, uh, that's awesome. How do you capture it? I use uh, a little device called a GBUSB2. GBUSB2, I believe, is the, the capture device. I only capture the video coming from uh, the Nintendo. So the video comes out, I cut it and spliced it myself. 
uh, the video goes to the back of the uh, TV so I can get the original CRT. Uh, and then the other video goes to the capture device that goes into my PC for capturing video. The audio of the Nintendo goes directly to my PC and is plumbed into my head. That way I don't have audio coming out of my TV and interfering with... Uh, interfering with my face hole. So uh, I run the audio directly to the PC and I can adjust things from there. Jump there! But I do enjoy uh, answering questions, so keep the questions coming. Saber tooth beaver suit. What's up, Iron Monkey? Yeah, okay, pretty no pretty more. Yo. Did you get the Jaws world record yesterday? No, very, very close. Uh, I wanted to break up the Jaws resets. We're doing uh, a single playthrough of uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. We're on World 5, and we've taken one hit. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so you have an RGB modded NES. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. I hate this stage, just so you know. If anybody wanted to know, it's like my least favorite out of all of them. It's not hard. I just mess it up all the time, which makes it stupid. Uh, yeah, Red Royalty, I don't have a whole lot of modded stuff. The majority of my stuff is all just original, uh, I, I think, what the fuck was that? That was dumb. I don't even, sorry for swearing, I don't even know how that happened. That was really stupid. I'm very upset. Whatever. Amanda says the turtle is you. Hey, thanks, Amanda, I got it. I got it. What a plumber tune right there. That's all right, we were ready to switch to firepower here. I, well, I landed on the turtle is what I thought. You know, I, I've been riding on them the whole stage. I hate that stage. I just said that earlier. I hate it. It's dumb. It's stupid, and I don't like it. And if it was up to me, it would not be a stage of the game. Someone needs to talk to the developers. Yeah, what the fudge was that? I kind of let that fudge go with a hard K sound. I, I apologize. I apologize for that. Don't tell my mom. Happy Tuesday, Sir Jiggins. Come across your epic NES runs on YouTube one day. Love the fact that you're still doing this stuff. I am still doing it. We're, we're going on six years of playing Nintendo perfectly in for things. Print, your mom says you used to play the Atari, uh, but you don't remember. I don't have a great memory of the Atari. I was pretty young when we had, and actually it was my uncles that had an Atari. We didn't have one. The first console that we had was, uh, was the original Nintendo. Oh, I skipped this level, don't I? Get skipped! I should have put that uh, hammer brother to sleep is what I should have done, but I didn't. Not smart. 
Because now my my manip for this boss is not going to be a, a good one. Oh well. I would have missed out on a music. Yeah, I should have skipped that for sure. Uh, Big Owl, the only 64 game I've really played on stream is I started doing some, uh, we called it the Dead 007 Deadeye. Instead of Goldeneye 007, it was Deadeye 007. We were doing, uh... Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. Liar. Liar! Liar! It's Liar! Mystical One. How are we doing? Uh... So we did 007 on the Super Nintendo. We're going stage by stage. We completed the dam. The limitations, the, the, the specifics of the challenge are no damage taken, all headshots, 100% accuracy. So you can't get hit, you can't miss, and you have to shoot everybody in the head. Uh, it's, a, it, it's kind of a ridiculous challenge. I didn't want to do, like, you can do a no damage playthrough of, of GoldenEye. And it's, it's a little bit different. I wanted to up the difficulty a little bit, but I also didn't want a really long challenge. So we're just going stage by stage by stage. So we did the dam. We routed the majority of the facility, but we never completed the facility. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back and forth. Sometime this year, we'll probably jump on and play some GoldenEye for a little bit. Uh, it's not a really big, I don't, it's not like a, a challenge I wanna grind. Like, we're doing Battletoads without damage. I'm grinding that. Uh, I've, I have a year, a full year into the original Legend of Zelda without damage. Uh, those are grinds that I'll continue to really put a lot of time into. GoldenEye 007 is kind of like a fun, we need a break, let's play some GoldenEye and shoot people in their faces, which is like arguably the, one of the most satisfying sounds is the crunch of shooting someone in the face in GoldenEye 007. Games for kids. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I, I think I've heard of the James Pond, but I, I don't know if I've ever played it. What's up, Kooky? By the way, I like your groovy vibes. Well, Red Royalty, I'm glad that you found the stream. Uh, now that you're on Twitch, uh, do me a favor. Uh, Red Royalty, uh, type the word chats. So that's S-H-A-T-S. -S. Just write that word and enter it into the chat. That will log you into our stream and create your very own chat stats, otherwise known as chats. There you go. Red Royalty. Those are the things that you can have. We'll explain things as you go. Uh, you'll see sometimes a little chest will pop in from the side of the stream. If you were the first person to write open, you can open the chest and you get what's inside. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you a couple things to get you going just because you're new. So I can come into here, Red Royalty, and I'll give you a couple free plays. So here's two tokens that'll give you two free plays of the arrow shooter game. Uh, and I'll give you a baker's dozen tomatoes. A baker's dozen's 13. Uh, so now you've got 13 tomatoes. If you put the tomato emote in the chat, you'll chuck the tomato at the screen. Uh, what's tomatoes hits? Mystical one, the goal is to hit me in the face with a tomato. Uh, if you do, it will say, ow, my lucky face. And on your shats, you'll see the shats show how many tomatoes you have and how many times you hit me in the face. How does one get tomatoes? Great question. Uh, mystical one for 130, no, no, sorry, 120. 120 bits uh, will get you a baker's dozen tomatoes and you get to make the, uh, make Brian talk. Or, or someone like Holy Cowis can buy you some. So, mystical one. Aha! Also, if you... Happy underscore mystical underscore one. So, Holy Cowis cheered 120 bits, but at mystical one, which means he bought him, uh, uh, bought mystical one, uh, a baker's dozen tomatoes. Again, that's 13 tomatoes. Uh, so you can use them now using the emote, and it'll throw the tomatoes. 
I was going to say something after that. Oh, yeah. If you throw a, a lot of tomatoes at once, there's a chance that the umbrella pops out and protects me. Uh, there's a higher chance for the umbrella to protect me the more tomatoes you throw. So if you throw a large amount of tomatoes, it's a much better chance that the umbrella is going to protect me. This jump has been bothering me a lot lately. I didn't make it. Made it that time. I say lately, but not really. All right, this, this boss is a terrible, no good, very bad person. Got her. Honeybee, you remember you had this game and you miss it. It's a very fun game. Mm -mm -mm. I can never get that jump. Match, it's stupid. I don't like it. I'd like to route it out, to be honest with you. In fact, I probably will route it out. Whoops. See this? This is my boomstick. Oh yeah, and Red Royalty, every once in a while, there's a random chance that you will throw a pile of poop at me. Because that's a really nice thing to do to the live streamer. But it's very unlikely. It's like a one in a hundred chance that you throw the poop. And then if you hit me in the face with poop, you're kind of an ass. And that's very mean. You shouldn't do that. And you could be like, oh, well, I didn't try to. Well, you still did, so... <laughs> What am I doing? Ow, my lucky face. You got me, mystical one. Congrats. Congratulations, mystical one. You did it. You should be very proud. I was a little late on that one. That's all right. We on loop one. Uh, Kooky, we're not looping it. We're just going through the game. This is a two hit, which stinks. I took a hit in a spot that was dumb. But I'm sad about it. Huh. Let's go. Hopefully I don't get hit here. Got him. Upside down question mark for me. I love making numbers. Another thing for those that are just joining us on Twitch, maybe for the first time, we have a fun game that we call the Kid Puncher 5000, uh, KP 5000. And there it is, speak of the devil. So what happens is these kids run out on the screen and they run out with letters above their head. There's a word to decipher there. If you were the first person to write that word in the chat, uh, you will come out on the side of the screen as Thomas from Kung Fu and you'll punch all these kids in their faces. And then you will get credit for those. j has got it. This word is Slack After Dark. Uh, we used to do night streams. Every once in a while we do some Slack After Dark. Uh, and you punch the kids in their face and you get points for it and you can be the person who's punched the most kids. Jagard, can we see it? Jagard is by far in the lead. Uh, in the last few months, he has punched a miraculous amount of, of kids in their faces. Let's see it, Jagard. There it is. Uh, 5,372 kids to be exact have met their demise uh, via Jagard's Fists of Fury. So, uh, and you'll notice that there's a redemption in the Twitch chat if you would like to redeem a word for the kids to spell. A lot of it is uh, inside joke nonsense. Some of it's just a word that is whatever. Some people try to play tricks and they spell words wrong. Uh, the more words that get added to the uh, KP5000 game, the harder the game becomes. So it's kind of fun. Honeybee says, I love the dungeon Holy levels. 
This minute, holy cow wants his intro on there. That's a good one. Saber tooth, beaver suit. Beep it, da be deep, boop. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Ba ba da bum, ya ba da boo, la ba da bum, ba boobs. <laughs> FM kids. I don't know if it was any other. This is on the Wii, right? Uh, no, Honeybee, this is the original Nintendo. It's this one. The weird square one with the lid. The original Nintendo. What game is this? <laughs> Whiteout? <laughs> What's up, bud? It is not Punch-Out. Not Punch-Out. Uh, this is the third installment of the Mario Brothers. Mario 3. I have a feeling you knew that, though. We have played through this game. I didn't want that saber tooth beaver suit anyways. We have played through this game without damage. Uh, we're doing it now without warps and without damage. So we're just upping, upping the difficulty a little. Squeesh. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, we've taken on some challenges and I've got some side tracks going. Man, I've got, uh, we're two hits away from a Damageless Battletoads playthrough. We're a hit away from uh, a Legend of Zelda. What's up, Sandman? Uh, we're two hits away from this. And then I'm doing uh, Jaws World Record attempts. We tweaked the speed run of Jaws for, uh, to lower that world record a little bit, so. Yeah, Damage Was Battletoads, uh, Whiteout, it's not near as bad as people think. For, for someone that I know plays Nintendo and plays Nintendo, uh, if you gave it some time to just learn the game, Battletoads sucks because you, it's hard to learn. The game is punishing in in order to know what to do, you have to learn through failure. It's programmed for you to die and go, how did I die? Oh, like this, now I have to do it this way. But then it doesn't give you enough lives to actually learn through death and send you all the way back to the beginning and eventually you get sick of starting over and you give up. That's the majority of what people do. Annoyingly hard because the only way to learn is through death. I don't want to do this. So I'm just going to... Oh, really? Try again. Ah, eh, piss. But once you... Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, I got lucky. Oh, nice. Once you do learn... Yeah, once you do learn Battletoads and all you're doing is reciting the, you know, the strategies you've come up with, it's definitely, it's still a tricky game, but it's definitely nowhere near as tricky as it is to try to do it on a, a casual level. Why don't I, oh, there's my hammer. Squeesh. It's definitely a fun playthrough. And for anybody that's like, well, I just want to learn how to play it just so I can say that I can beat Battletoads. It's not quite as bad as you may think just to learn to play it. I actually recommend people learn to play Battletoads because it's a, it's kind of a neat flex as a, as a NES player or a video game player to say, yeah, you know that game that everyone thinks is super duper hard? I can beat it. Uh, and with a little practice, I think most people can. There's nothing in Battletoads. Here you go, Whiteout. There's nothing in Battletoads that comes close to fighting Tyson. Nothing. Fighting Mike Tyson in Tyson's Punch-Out is harder than anything that you have to do in Battletoads. 
by a large margin. Large Marge. What's up, Beta? Hey, Beta, great ideas, by the way, for Nest Fest. I got a chance to read through them. I haven't had a chance to respond, but uh, I like where your head's at. That's what I mean, Whiteout. You have a particular skill set for playing Nintendo games. Battletoads wouldn't be hard if you gave it some time. Fatality. Welcome. Hey, Fatality, I think we have a command. Do we have a Fatality? I know we have, uh, you win perfect. Maybe we don't have Fatality as a command. You want to play? Go ahead. You can go ahead and play. Learning Battle... <laughs> Learning Burr Battletoads on the original cart is is hard. I, I, I don't have any idea. Uh, I did not learn Battletoads on the original cart, nor would I... Uh, I wouldn't even recommend it. So, the reason why I say that is because I believe, as someone that has developed video games, uh, I believe, and has played a lot of old games, Battletoads was designed poorly. Uh, the game itself and the gameplay actually is pretty awesome. Uh, the Dark Queen's Tower and the and the way that it, it three-dimensionally scrolls like that is awesome and some of the best or probably the best that's ever been done on the Nintendo. The game itself is great. The way they designed it has a fatal flaw and that is it just sends people back to the beginning to a point where people don't even want to play the game. I could fix Battletoads with one simple change. Make it the way that Ninja Gaiden runs. If you get to a new world or new level and you game over, when you continue, you start on that level. It's fixed. Then it would be, then you could play through it casually on a cart and it would be more enjoyable. You would be able to learn it better. It, it, it would fix the game. But the way that it stands right now, I wouldn't suggest anybody, unless you really want to, um, I wouldn't recommend people trying to do it on the original cart because it just would be less fun. The game is fun, but not that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. It seems like every streamer has a fatality command. I guess I don't, though. I lied. I lied, fatality. Other streamers have a fatality command. I am a liar. We're different. You know? <laughs> I never played Battletoads, but I want to learn it. Well, if you do start to learn it, Fatality, I do know quite a bit about the playthrough. Um, I'm very close to a no-hit playthrough, and I've developed a lot of strategies that just make the game uh, easier as a, as a whole. Giggity. Do you have a KO? I don't know. Try it out. Doesn't look like it. Who is that guy? What's up, Inspector? Hey! Brayden says, it looks like you've played this game before. Once or twelve times. How many times do you think you've played this game? We can actually, t oh, on TikTok you can't see. Uh, all right, my, my counter's not right. Uh, I've probably beaten the game a dozen times. 
Uh, I, I tend to not do a lot of full playthroughs. I do more practice so that the full when I go to do full playthroughs to try for a challenge or something like that, it's less attempts. Uh, I'd rather not have to reset for three months. I'd rather practice solid for a month and then do a few weeks of, of uh, a few weeks. And this is actually, that's, that's really not right. Uh, it's more like practice for two months and play for two months uh, for some of these challenges. But this game, not so much. Uh, I didn't even really play this game growing up. It wasn't a game that I, uh, I was familiar with. It wasn't until I was an adult that I ever actually beat the game for the first time. Uh, I beat it for the first time on the live stream using the warp whistles. Oh, whoops. Oh, this isn't good. Whew, I got lucky. <laughs> I missed him with the first jump for the setup. All right. Who wants some? Who's next? Now, Print, there's a lot of other games How like uh, when I was Who doing no some? damage uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, I've probably played through that game 300 times. I spent almost a year and a half grinding it for a no damage playthrough. Some games are quite a bit different. That game. Uh, is leaps and bounds more difficult to do a, a no damage playthrough than a game like uh, this. Wait, you're live here too? You got it. There you go. I'm on uh, Twitch, TikTok, the X. I don't know. I do all of them. I'm going to try to do all of them. Remember hooking up the Game Genie and having fun with all the cheats. Game Genies are cool. Mm -mm. That, yeah, it is a long time. A lot of my challenges uh, take a very long time to do. It's a personality trait that I have. I love setting myself up to try something that is impossible, that nobody's done. Uh, and I gladly put the time in to try to do things that, well, like I said, are, are, woo, are kind of thought to be impossible. What in the, oh, come on, me. What the hell are you doing? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Shit. That was really dumb. Oh, I didn't even see, what a dick. <laughs> oh well. There's three hits. I should have enough extra stuff, right? I should have enough extra stuff. Sorry, it's four. Is it four hits now? I. I, get hit, I got hit there twice. You're right. Yeah, it's four hits. You're right. Uh, my PB is a two hit, so anything after two is is whatever. Um, I've got two fire powers. Don't I fly through this stage? But I don't have another uh, saber tooth beaver suit. I bet you there's one in here. Let's just see. Oh no, yeah, I want firepower for this one. Good job, me. Shoot them in their butts. Shoot them all with your balls. And shoot them in their butts. Shoot them with your balls. Shoot them where? In their butts. Shoot them all with your balls. Shoot them in your butt with their fireballs. I mix mix that up as yours with their. It's a tricky song, a very tricky song to remember. It's 
still impressive to me. Oh, I mean, a four hit's still really good. Ah, gross. Excuse me, Greg. <laughs> I suck. Just go. Just go for it. I don't know how I got stuck there. Now it's a five. It's getting less impressive by the moment. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Moby Shits, the great brown whale. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what... I don't think I need anything for this one. Yeah, it's the, it's the star one. I need to not stink at the game is what I need to do here. Don't stink at the game, me. If you were thinking about stinking at the game, quit it. Uh, made me a slow jam CD. Be fun to add the Bowser. I like uh, when people add old retro jingles to stuff. How many firepowers did I have left? I only got one left and I like to use it at the end. But for some reason, I feel like I want firepower in this. Which one is that? No, I don't. I don't even need it in this one. Good for me. Yeah, this one's this. Trying to mesmerize uh, all of the game is really the hardest part, is just to remember what the hell is everything. We get a saber-toothed beaver suit here. Saber tooth beaver suit. Saber tooth beaver suit. I challenge you, if you can, do Contra, Operation, no damage, God game is so hard, but fun. So Diamond Dog, what is it on? Because we've done the original Contra without damage, but I don't know that game at all. What console is it on? Probably not one I will do if it's on a modern console, because I don't really do modern console runs. Not that I will never, but like right now, probably not. But what console is it on? Contra games are, I find them to be not as uh, bad as most people think they are. They're very memorization, which I enjoy. I enjoy a game where you just memorize everything and then just do it. It's on the PlayStation? Oh wait, that's not what I'm supposed to do there. I'm supposed to do this one. Contra is your favorite NES game. It's a really good game and a really fun no damage playthrough. The game lends itself to no damage uh, because the game is easier if you don't take damage. You know, you keep the spread shot, the game becomes much, much easier. It's taking damage that makes the game hard. It's on PS4, PS5, Xbox. Oh, I need to read this better. Let me finish the stage. <laughs> it's the same, like Contra, but hard, yes, and there is so much memorization. Well, I've said it before, if I have a skill in playing games, it's really not being good at them or exceptional with timing or having great reaction. 
Uh, I would say that the skill set that I do have is memorization. Uh, when I was doing uh, the Link to the Past, uh, no damage run is two and a half hours long, and I could walk through it. Uh, and something it's, it's something that I do for practice. When I lay in bed at night, I will play through the game. So I'll sit there and say, right now I need to go up this tube. When I go up the tube, I'm gonna turn into the cloud. Grendel, wait, Grendel who? What's up, Geraldine? Oh, Geraldine. Geraldine, hold on, I have to change my name, ladies and gentlemen. Geraldine. Oh, that's a very nice name. Good morning, Weevil of Doom. Thank you for the 52 months at tier three. Weevil of Doom, welcome in, bud. Um, so when I come up this tube, here's an example of the memorization that goes into these types of runs. I'm gonna come up the tube, I'm gonna turn into a cloud, I'm gonna skip number seven. I'm gonna go down back over and go into uh, number nine, walking past eight. Number nine is uh, a maze level. I'm gonna run to the right, I'm gonna run back to the left and fly up to the top. Get to the top, I have to jump over two Goombas and then I have to jump across the next section, run across the top, jump across, there'll be some music blocks. The music blocks are my signal to go down. I'll go down, break the blocks to the left, climb up, break the blocks to the left. There will be a turtle that's jumping there. I will go past him to the right, break the blocks to the right. Hey, you shut your poutine. Go down, I believe. This I kind of just flow through. I'll end up having to climb up, go back to the right, down, left, down, right, up, down to the tube. After that, I'm going to uh, come back up to the top. I'll have a cloud for the next fortress. I'll use the cloud on the fortress, go down to the chomper guy, go in there. I'm gonna wait for one of the pipes, jump on the pipe. Uh-oh. Okay, whew. I almost ran out of time there. Jump on the pipe, uh, and then I've got a flutter, uh, go underneath some uh, fire flowers, and then I've got to uh, bounce across some note blocks to get past this last chomper here before I go to the palace. I can essentially do that for the entire game, and that's what makes being able to do these challenges easier, because you don't have to react. Uh, I use the cloud for seven. I go into nine, run to the right, turn around, run to the left, fly, jump one, jump two Goombas, jump the gap, run across this one, fall down at the note block, go up. There's the there's the jumping turtle, squish. Then we're gonna go, yeah, we go down, back up, and this is where we're gonna go up, to the right, break, down to the left, down, right, back up, and in the shell, or in the, in the tube. Sorry, I missed the beginning of the stream. What you said, Slack, can you repeat it? No, I cannot. But you guys didn't miss out on Jaws. We're doing a, a, a playthrough here before Jaws, so. You didn't really miss out on much. We're gonna wait for this guy. Big jump across the gap. Run, wait here. Oh, I was like, what the hell just happened? Then we're gonna jump across these. Twiddle here, go down. We want to manipulate the boss fight, so we're actually going to try to get to the boss on the same timing. This map as a kid drove you crazy. It's nice when you know where you're going. When you don't know where you're going, you don't know where you're going. Makes everything harder. But we're, we're almost on to, uh, to World 8, and we'll finish this up, and then we're going to go to Jaws World Record Runs. You wanna make sure you're making these jumps when the ship is on the way down. So, down. What that does is the ship will go down and it'll actually allow you to jump farther. So 
So wait for this to go up and start going down. And you can easily make the jumps over everything. Wait for this to go up and down. Wait for this to go up. I think you can make the jump right here. Now you don't have to deal with any of that shit at the bottom. Woo! Up, down, up, squish. If you make the, try to make the jumps when the ship's on the way up, you oftentimes can't make the jump. That's the trick. Unless it's well below you like that, then you're fine, but. Like right here, if I try to make this on the way up, I may miss the jump. We're going to try to get buffered into the hole here. <laughs> it's a good fight. The 12 gauge double belt Remington. S Mart's top of the line. <laughs> Shop smart. Shop S Mart. You got that? Now, be prepared to be slightly let down by uh, World 8. This challenge becomes much easier knowing that we have set ourselves up for, for World 8. I mean, we, we've set ourselves up with all sorts of extra goodies. We're going to fly through most of 8 uh, and use the flight in the, in the clouds. I mean, we're only going to play like a couple stages in 8. It's something that I've noticed doing these no damage playthroughs. I don't try to get better at the game. I said it earlier. I try to make the game easier. And video games often, when they, when they gave you uh, a challenge or a hurdle in the game, when they gave you something that you had to deal with, oftentimes they're like, but here's the thing that you can use to deal with it. Or, here's this challenge, but if you go over here and get this, that helps you deal with it. And that's a, a really good approach to video games. It's a great approach to making a fun experience because they, they, you want the player to be able to do it without the things. Look at Mega Man. Mega Man is a fantastic example. Mega Man, you can do any, everything with just the buster. But they gave you things in power-ups that allowed for the game to be routed and made easier. Mega Man's a good example. Mario 3, P-Wings. You can collect P-Wings and use them to make uh, stages easier. This was something that was done on the Nintendo and the good Nintendo games did it well. The shitty Nintendo games didn't. And they're the ones that became notoriously difficult because they just weren't thought out well. And this goes over to why I believe modern games are much easier than older games, because modern games utilize this to a much higher degree. In modern games, they give you so many tools, and everything that is a challenge in the game, they give you multiple ways of doing it and being better at it, upgrading characters and different weapons and different things. Uh, so I tend to find that modern games are easier to route to make really easy. How many P-Wings do you use on eight? Uh, like four or something like that. I signed up for the Ash for President package. And it actually came, that's cool. I love Evil Dead. I'd like to, uh, we do movie nights on the Discord where we watch through movies and whatnot. I would like to watch through the Evil Dead movies uh, and do a scary movie movie night. I think that would be a lot of fun. This one here we don't pee wing because we can swim in the chocolate milk.
Bionic Commando gives you the rocket launcher. It, like, uh, Mega Man is a terrible game, and you know it. Mega Man's not a terrible game. Actually, Mega Man's, I feel like, are really well put together video games, and that's maybe why they did so well. Evil Dead was your first, uh... What is it? NC-17 rated, uh... What do we mean, NC-17? That's a rating? Doesn't it just go to R? Oh, aka X rated, okay. And C-17 is a rating, but you don't see it very often. It's called Ice Cream. So I switch to Firepower here, just in case we get hands here, which we did. jumped over my shot. Robocop was X when it came out? Really? Uh, speaking of movie night and fun things, uh, this Saturday is a very, no, this Sunday rather. Oh, I was supposed to go fast here. Oh no. Don't hit me. All right, normally you just go fast and stuff. This Sunday is April 14th, and it is a, uh, a national holiday. It is National Burt Gummer Day. Uh, and we will be, as a community, watching through every one of the... Uh, we'll be watching through every one of the Tremors movies, back to back to back to back to back to back, all seven of them. It'll be a Tremors marathon. pencil and a t-shirt that's fun how many people played uh, the evil dead uh, video game fistful of boomstick great game weevil of doom i use the i use the p-wing on the third hand i have two p-wings that third hand i use a p-wing for i've saved and then i have another one for this i'm gonna have an extra p-wing in this run Hello, Ma, what's up? So joke's on you. I joke and it is on you that I joke. They're trying, uh, they've been trying to rebrand it as hard R. R. Doing all right? Well, good. So I also started, like, I should have, yeah, I've got an extra P-Wing there, too. Actually, I should have three P-Wings. I do have three P-Wings. This, this stage is not, it's not difficult to do without the P-Wing, but it is, so when I, when I finished through here and I knew how many P-Wings I was going to get in the playthrough, just naturally playing, uh... My thought was, all right, which stages can I not do because I have these P-Wings? So I wrote down a list of any of the stages that I was really even remotely concerned about. And then I played through those stages and found the ones that I was most likely to take damage. This happened to be one that because of the bullet bills, I could get unlucky and take damage. So I just routed it out. But something like this, this stage is free. Your P-Wing is showing, how embarrassing. I call it my poutine finger. Speaking of movies, Dune Part 2 is uh, out 
on the internets now. Ooh. Ooh, I've been excited to watch that. I'll probably watch the first one again. I only watched it once. So I think I'll watch the first one. This is how free this stage is. You literally glide to the finish. So no use of doing a P-Wing there. You'll never get hit. We've got one more uh, cloud to use. Not that that palace is particularly hard, but again, it rates hard enough. I mean, I have the ability to skip them. And we have the ability to skip this. So out of eight, we did... We do two hands. And eight, two. Which is pretty much free. And that's it. We swim through one of the, the boats. When a good enough copy comes available. Yeah, I'd rather it be a, a, a good copy of it than watch a crappy one. What's Plex? Uh, Steve Harrington, Plex is a... Imagine if you had Netflix, only you got to put the movies on there. So it's a server that you get to download and put movies on and you can share with friends. So what Plex is to me, Weevil of Doom has a Plex server and he goes out there and finds movies and shows and stuff and downloads them to the Plex server and he shared it with me. So I go on there and there's stuff for me to watch. Uh, and I think Plex also has some of its own things on there as well. But it would be like, it's, it's like Amazon Prime, only in order to put something that Amazon doesn't have on there, you have to buy it. Plex allows you to download it so you can find it on the internet for free and download it and put it on your Plex server. Yeah, it's his own personal Netflix that he can share with people. But like Netflix doesn't allow you to download things. The main thing is, is that Plex allows you to download uh, shows and movies from the internet to your server. It's pretty cool. Well, it's really cool if you know someone that has a server that uh, I am Iron Man that allows you to use it. This is the very end of the game, folks. All we gotta do is get to uh, Bowser and win. Win the day. Wait! Wait! Don't wait. Don't wait. Wait! Uh, uh, whoa! I was gonna say, don't wait. I went, I went one spot down too far. Super Mario on the Nintendo played every world and beaten with only getting hit five times. Not bad. Release the doves. Release the doves. We did it. Good job, everybody. Well, well done. Thank you for the GG. Still a kid at heart. Arno. Jayguard. Fatality. Scar. Jaggy Man, Mystical One, Sandman, Steve Harrington, Ouija Wee, Valdor the Great, uh, Warlord Zen, Wise Man Play. Thank you guys so much for the GGs. Space Colonizer. 
So we played through we played through Super Mario's this morning. I wanted to refresh myself on uh, I don't want to forget the route. Uh, cause we do still want a no damage playthrough of that. We have a two hit PB. That five hits really nice. Uh, it's good to go through. I didn't really forget much. Uh, there was a couple spots where I was like, ah, but I think playing through it once a day is a good approach. We'll get going in the morning. We'll do our Mario playthrough. And if it rips, we just, we reset and we move on. We just have that one Mario 3 playthrough every day. I think it's a good approach to keeping Mario fresh in the memory and until we get the run. Have you ever thought about doing a ringless run of Sonic? I don't really play this Sega. It's a ROM had that picked up rings makes you fatter and slower until you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It makes you fatter and slower until you die. That's fun. Um, so I was a Nintendo kid. I had like a, a second cousin that had the Sega that I played twice in my life. I've played some things uh, on emulation as I you know got older through high school and, and stuff like that. Um, I played a lot of Land Stalker. I really thought that Sega game was cool. Uh, the isometric, like, uh, three-dimensional movement and the adventure RPG. I thought Land Stalker was a pretty darn cool game, uh, but really didn't put a lot of time into the Genesis. I could see doing a, a no-hit run of, uh, of Sonic sometime, just to go through and do a perfect playthrough of the original Sonic but I don't think that I would add on top of that, like no rings or anything like that. Oftentimes, if you've been around very long, oftentimes the challenges that I do, I don't go out of my way to make the challenge extra difficult. The first time I, the first time I went through Super Mario 3, I did it without damage, but I used the warp whistles and I used everything that the game gave you to play it. Mario 3 is a really fun game. So I am doing it without warp whistles, but for the most part, my challenges are one and done. And I wanted to keep the rule set of the challenge very simple. And that's where we came up with flawless Ness or a flawless playthrough. It's no damage, no death, no glitches that make you skip major portions of the game. Uh, and essentially just no mistakes. If there is damage that is required, you can't get around it, then it is not a mistake. It's something that is required. So this container that we made with Flawless Runs uh, works on any game that you want to do it on. But to keep it simple and to keep from being uh, confusing, I don't like to add you know, Sonic, no damage, no rings. No, if I did Sonic, it would be with the same rule set. No major glitches that skip parts of the game, and then no mistakes, no damage if it's avoidable, and no hits if they're avoidable uh, in a, a perfect playthrough of the game. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me grab, I want another cup of coffee. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick cup of coffee with my crappy coffee maker that everyone seems to think is, is crappy, but I like it. Uh, and I will be right back. Uh, give me about two minutes and uh, we'll see you in a second. All right, everyone get your willy ready. It's almost time for the hot drop. Everyone's willy ready. The timing must be perfection. Not now. Ready? Here comes. Hot drop. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yes! Clip it and time it! But that's what I'm talking about there. So what we would do, because technically, those stabs can happen in real life. So you can do this and get those five stabs in. Once you do that, you could bring them back and then do this. Everything's going your way tonight. Yeah, I chopped a moth in half. I don't know how no one is clipping that. You should clip that. There you go, Queso. You got it.
All right, let's try it out. Fuck you, game! You suck! Oh... D-cup! I'm sorry to say, I do not have uh, a double of wizards and warriors. Here we go, keep analysis. To be and honest, wearing I do not own wizards and warriors, analysis. the original game. But I do own... Iron Sword, Fabio. I do own Wizards and Warriors too. Um, Ready, TT? Let's go clean. I know clean. you don't want to clean, buddy. Let's go. Put your hand on Daddy's head so you can see your hand on the screen. See it? That's not his head. Okay, okay. Alright, tell him bye bye. Go clean. Let's go clean your room. Go clean your room. Okay. Thank you. They listen to me. Why? You tell me why. I'd like to eat somebody now. Or at least I ate the, the lady out of the bathtub. <laughs> <coughs> Clip! <laughs> Raising bone! There's something about moving down, uh, something about going down on the windows that eats your B input. Holy shit, what's happened? Ooh, those were some sexy jumps. Oh, wow. Wow. Thanks for the follows, guys. I murder you. I kill you. We could take this thing and wax it up. Oh, I should have done that. I still can. It's not over. I wonder if I waxed my beard up into like peaks. <laughs> Alright, there's the shimmy. There's the encounter. I shot too early and I missed the jelly. You may call me Betty. <laughs> oh, piss. Gross Nintendo work with a good time. Dear. He is there, guaranteed. The clock is not, though. The clock is not guaranteed because enemies don't. Uh, will not, you can never make an enemy guaranteed to drop an, oh, fuck you. Wait a minute. What if I wait right by the door? I'll get hit in the face with his balls. Can't do that. That's gross. Oh, ba da bum ba da boob bee. I like boobs, and so do you. We are both the same. Boobs are great, and butts are good. I think they're both the same. I like boobs. This is song in the making, it's not good. We had a family get together uh, a while back and we made a lemon pie. Only our kids, cause they're jerks, st ah, stuck their, yeah! Sorry for screaming, that was scary. Stuck their hand in it. So we took a, a lemon pie to a family get together with a big handprint in it, or a little handprint, cause it was the kids. And no one wanted to eat it. So now every time we go, uh, every time we go to a get together, we make a lemon pie and we put a hamper in it. That way we could bring home a whole lemon pie and eat it ourselves. Entry time in this door. I forgot that we do that. That's genius. The whole lemon pie thing, brilliant, brilliant. If you don't want someone to eat something that you take to a gathering, just put a handprint in it. Great idea. Or, you know, mess it up. Make it not look good. Mm, it wasn't a lemon meringue pie. No. Uh, same is like a, a same pie just without the meringue. If I remember right. We've made lemon meringue pies as well. It is one. I mean, lemon pies, period. Lemon desserts are often underrated by stupid people. They really are. 
La Croix. La Croix our master. La Croix chooses who will go. Super we'll duper see. Nintendo, how are we chosen. doing? Welcome. <laughs> lemon squares may have to happen tonight. Ooh, oh, I love lemon. Space Calendar, I like lemon desserts because you're a smart, awesome, cool person that makes good decisions and should be loved by all. Nobody can argue that. Mm-hmm. But you don't like lemon, it's going to drop you a lot lower down on that list, for sure. Agreed. <laughs> uh, you mean that uh, people can choose to not sing songs they like? How does one obtain this power? Uh, still, kid, I don't think you're talking about the daily Would You Rather. Would you rather exclaim, I love this song, whenever you hear a love song play or uncontrollably sing along to it? So it's not songs that you like, it is love songs. And in one scenario, you have to loudly proclaim that you love the song and that's it. And in the other scenario, you have to sing along to the song. You can't stop yourself from singing out loud to any love song that you hear. Uh, only yellow star bursts aren't poisonous. Ooh, yellow star bursts are good. Uh, I would, I would go with, uh, loudly proclaim it. I don't hear that many love songs and I could do it like, I love this song. And people could think that it's ironic or I'm, I'm being uh, facetious as I'm joking. Whereas if you sing along to it, it's hard to sing along without being like, this dude, he really likes this song. Any love song. Pink Starburst guy. If I'm and if I'm having Starburst, if I'm honest, they're all they're all just as fine. Uh, I do like lemon jelly beans more than any of the other jelly beans. Jelly beans are not the greatest of candies, anyway. Uh, I did start when I was through hiking the AT. I learned to really love jelly beans because on that through hike, you're trying to get as much calories and energy into your body as you can. And jelly beans are a fantastical way to consume, uh, quickly consume sugar and energy and calories. Uh, unlike some candies, the, the hard shell does well in the heat or in a bag in your pocket or whatever. They're just a little bit more hardy to carry. Uh, so <coughs> I, I ate a lot of jelly beans while I was hiking uh, the trail. Days, Mom. Uh, hello, Euler, 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 uh, and I and I really like the yellow ones the most. Anyways, do you roast your starbursts like marshmallows on campfires? I didn't know that was a thing. Weevilo, you're a black jelly bean guy. Weird. What do you like better, starburst or the flute flavored Tootsie Rolls? The fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls are oddly good, but if I'm going, I don't eat candy much. I'm a bitter person. I like coffee without sugar. I like beer. I don't tend to go on the sweet side. When I do, like I said, sweets like cakes and stuff, I go lemon. It has a, a, a sour, a tartness to it. So I would say, though the flavored Tootsie Rolls are oddly good for some reason, uh, I would go Starburst because it has that little bit of tartness to it. Jolly Ranchers need to go into the pits of hell where they belong. Jolly Ranchers are the absolute worst things that a human can consume, in my humble opinion. Jolly Ranchers give me anxiety. I feel like they're going to stick my... Like, if I put a Jolly Rancher in my mouth, I cannot help myself from putting it between my teeth and slowly clamping down on it so it locks my jaw to the point where I feel like I'm going to freak out and have to yank my teeth apart and pull my teeth out onto the candies. They are the worst. I hate them. Sorry. I didn't mean to go down that dark path, but it's something that I had to say. I recently saw there are sour fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls. Now I would do it. Sounds like a you problem. It, it is a me problem. I hate Jolly Ranchers. I just hate the texture of the, 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 the I, I, I hate, I hate them. I hate them. If Jolly Ranchers had a face, I would punch it. 
Sour, t- uh, they're good. We will. I can admit, like I said, the only reason why I would put Starburst above the Tootsie Roll, the, the fruity Tootsie Rolls, is because of the tartness. Less Jolly Ranchers, more Jaws. Oh, yeah, we're playing a game. Uh, I think I'm just going to do a couple Jaws uh, fights and then be done. Like, I mean, I'm just going to warm up the Jaws fight and then do runs. Mm-hmm. Now and laters, but with the now and later ta- taffy, he bit down on one and his teeth got stuck together. Ugh. Chewy spree. Oh, we've loved him. Chewy sprees are a special candy that my wife and I only eat while we're on road trips. We get a bag of chewy sprees and we, I will close, I won't close my eyes if I'm driving, but I will look away if she's not driving. We close our eyes if we're not the driver, but, uh, and then we'll get one in our hand and you put it in your mouth and you try to chew it up and guess what color it is because it's they are different, but they're subtle enough that it's actually kind of tricky to guess the uh, color. And we've been doing that for years. It's just a, a, a road trip thing that we do. Like, oh, we're going on a road trip. I better get a bag of Chewy Sprees. It's just a thing. Metal Golf Salad. Incorrect. I'm not sure if I know Chewy Sprees. You should. You should know them. Uh Oh, I switched the save state buttons. Regular sprees are good as well, but chewy sprees are top notch. Wrong button. <laughs> Zero says greasy. Oh wait, no. Gree. Oh, so I thought I said greasy. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Get done. Uh save state, we're going to do down and select and then right and select. No, we're going to do a left and select and right and select. They're greasy January. That's what I'm talking about. Beep boop. Oh, that's all right. It was a decent first run. Spaceship. I missed a shot off of the boat. Uh, it was a 14-4. My dive pass wasn't bad, but when I was trying to re... Uh, after the dive pass, you got to get back up, pixel down. I missed that. That pass was what ruined the the Jaws fight.
Gross. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know why I was so, uh, so slow. I was missing a lot on each of them, I guess. I save. Let's go again. Take that. I'll take that. I will take that. My drop shot suffered. If I could have had a good drop, I think I had like a 17 or something dropped. Uh, I was 22s all across the top. I think every, every one after the, I think they were all 22s. Anyways, we're ready for runs. My heart's beating. Oh, I forgot the heart rate monitor. That was a really good run. That's what we're looking for. Anything like that will cut off a second or two off of the record and that will be good. That will be good. Uh, I need to go get my uh, my other uh, phone for heart rate monitor. Be right back. Perfect. Go right. Go right. Missed him. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I'm gonna listen. Hello Slackinator, my name is Dr. Spatso. I am here to help you. Say whatever is in your mind freely. Our conversation will be kept in strict confidence. Memory contents will be wiped off after you leave. So, tell me about your problem. About my problem? My problem. Well, all right, we are back. We'll get the heart rate monitor going. Still up a little bit high. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, no, it is, yeah. It's 94. There it goes. Everyone, no chat commands during the Jaws fight. Yeah, if we could do that, guys, uh, the Jaws fight, the timing is really tight. We do have some fun commands and we do some silly shit on the stream. Uh, if we can try to keep from doing uh, sound commands and stuff when I get into the, I know it's fun because people want to use a sound command and have it in the run, but uh, it can really mess up the timing for me for the Jaws fight. So if we could keep the sound commands until after the fight's over or uh, leading up to the fight, uh, that would be really good. <laughs> Things like bubbles. <laughs> My bubbles. You fix your input viewer yet? No, and uh, Warlord Zen even sent me another cord. The input viewer's not working. Uh, I've got, Exquisite I still haven't redid the, he's got a software thing that he wants me to install on it and stuff. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Yeah, some emotes like the bubble emote and stuff trigger things, uh, but let's just try to keep it. If we are, if we are in a Jaws fight and we are on pace, Let's just let it, uh, 
Let it be quiet if we can. There is no bathroom! Mm -hmm. I moved to the right too quick. Can you tell me my business What's again? crapping in? Why must? Bigger boat! Hey, why must? Have you considered joining us for Nest Fest? I know you're a ways out there. Uh oh. Internet! We're getting a hiccup. We be fighting the internet. Yeah, I've just given it a second to catch up. How's it going? But it's going good. It's going great. We're doing some world record attempts of one of my favorite speed runs, Jowls. Why must? It would be really cool to have you come out to uh, Nest Fest. I mean, you're you're about two hours. It would probably be if you drove. It's going to be ten hours. Going to have to poke my head into the Discord and check it out. I saw something about it yesterday. Yeah, it's it's essentially we've taken a normal meetup that we had at the Hartford uh, Hartford, Connecticut, does a retro convention called Retro World Expo, and for four or five years now we've all just met up there and hung out we've turned it into a live streaming event where we hang out and try to beat as many uh nintendo games as we can um it's a really fun time but it is for you it's hey, minute, you're damn near flying distance i would probably fly if it wasn't for having to take a bunch of stuff there Why must? You could even, uh, we're doing a little bit of carpooling. You could essentially come east to me and then uh, carpool with me. I think I'm going northern New York and meeting up with Ugly Owl who is dropping down from Canada. Like that would make the drive f more fun if you still wanted to drive. In front of Slack's face. <laughs> and then do the neener neener dance. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You better go uh, next year, Weevilo. Twenty second through twenty fifth. Yep, uh, that's the event. We go a day early. I would be going. Uh, I'd be traveling on the Thursday. A little late on that one. So the twenty first, I believe, is the Thursday. The event is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The twenty second to the twenty fifth. We will have the streaming room up and running potentially 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a lot of us are leaving on Monday. So it becomes a bigger event there. Technically, the event is the 23rd. Oh, okay. So the event's the 23rd, 4th, and 5th. A lot of us are showing up on the 22nd or whatever. It, Thursday through Monday that week, whatever it happens to be. I'll catch this bird for you. It ain't going to be easy. I don't know if that's fast enough. We'll see. Kind of got off of pace there. I'm not sure why. Sometimes I get this jellyfish here and it must be because I'm not moving right fast enough and I'm blocking jelly three, which is, I must be blocking jelly three, which is throwing all sorts of stuff off because I'm getting a jelly four it must be blocking a bunch of stuff. Colonizer, do you recognize that? Cause I, no, I should be getting a jelly two here. I think, I think I get jelly two. Hmm. Tomorrow's name's picked out. We already did Ethel. It was great. Today I am uh Draldine. Draldin. Yeah, I don't know. This could be something I I get this occasionally. I'm not sure why. So this is for the end. I don't think I'm on the right side. I'm, I, I was on the left. Geraldine. I don't know if I was. It doesn't happen very often, so I'm not too worried about it. I must have just been off timed somewhere. Why did I decide to play a drinking game every time you said jelly? Oh, no. Sassy, thank you for the gift sub to Boshania. Boshania, welcome in. Uh, I feel like there was something else that I was talking about, but oh well. I can go slower, right? Come on down and chug some of this shit. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. What's up, Jodosh? Just pooping in between meetings. Thank you so much. I missed a wiggle. Right. We have love doom. So if you were in the table where I think you were and you want jelly too, at the very end, need to block six, six, five, and eight. You must have been too far to the, to the right and only blocked six and not five colonizer that would make sense i thought i was i think i kept thinking that i would be too far to the left so i'm trying to go right as fast as i can that's my problem good that's easy fix that's an easy fix it makes perfect sense colonizer because i'm focusing on being as far right as i can And it sounds like it's not easy to be too far right there because you've got to go back and kill the jelly and turn around. Kill the k jelly, get the shell, and turn around. Ha! 
<laughs> I was way off time there. There's a shark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any shark expert in the world will tell you to kill the man eater. Man eater. Not quite getting those wiggles yet. Skidaboo! Yeah, uh, and for those that are curious about Nest Fest, Sassy McPhee is the one to reach out to right now. We are setting up uh, the Discord for Nest Fest. Uh, I think it's a, it's better than having people spread around. 8-Bit Steve and I were talking last night. Uh, it makes sense to have a place to send everybody that is interested in going where it is not on somebody else's Discord or it's not whatever. So we are looking to set up the Discord server so that we can have a place to show, to send everybody to get everyone set up. Be at zone six at spawn time. That's what I aim for. Hobo Johnny says 1K likes on TikTok. I'm TikTok famous. The shark. Swallow you whole. How we doing, Hobo Johnny? It's kind of slow, but we should be all right. My uh, my idea of slow has changed now because I've started to optimize this in my brain. And I feel like I'm more often plenty fast now. But we'll see. I won't be able to get in this encounter if I was. I'm good. Still getting, uh, wait, still didn't get the NES EverDrive fixed. Your EverDrive is broken? Get the right input there. I get the head, tail, a weakness? What's up, Edge? How we doing this morning? Wasn't sure if it was afternoon yet. I didn't unscrew it, the actual console. Oh. This may be the fast. Oh no, I didn't get far enough to the right quick enough. I didn't unscrew it, the actual console, but tried cleaning it like you said. I didn't get my NES EverDrive. So when you talk about EverDrive, you're talking about EverDrive? If your EverDrive is, I can't tell whether you're talking about if your EverDrive is broke or your console is broke. I think I know your problem here. Need more cannonballs. I didn't hit the timer. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't know how you cleaned your NES without opening it.
That's way too slow. Let's practice. <laughs> I was all messed up. The console works, but not with the EverDrive. EverDrive is double vision looking. Ah, you cleaned the EverDrive. Rob uh, Lozer? How's it going, Rob? So you cleaned the EverDrive with alcohol and a Q-tip and stuff. Um, I'm not sure. What I would try to do is potentially reload the software for the EverDrive. Thank you for the GL, Cubby Cubby Cat. It's me, Yoshi. It's like, it's me, Yoshi. Rob, I tend to, uh, I tend to miss people's names and stuff and get people mixed up. Crap. Harley Yoshi? From where? On TikTok? Different name on TikTok? I still don't recognize it. Why'd you switch your name? Are you just trying to be confusing? Too early. myself again. Well, there you go, Rob. Good idea. So in tick or in Twitch, we have a suggestion for you. Man, I can't get that wiggle. Uh, Hobo Johnny, it could be a single pin on the console that the other games he tested don't use. So not every game uses all 72 pins. Uh, so one of the pins that the EverDrive may be trying to use, uh, the games that you're testing, so your console could could show that it's that it's working correctly, but could have a pin that is not working right. Uh, that would go to the opening up the console and cleaning the 72 pin connector or adjusting it. It's kind of like the next stage. That you get the head. The tail, the whole damn, damn thing. thing. The name of the day, yeah, considering the persona of Edge, that's technically the middle name of said Edge. Gerald? Very nice. Ooh, that's a gold split? <laughs> oh, come on. I thought I had it. Have you ever heard of Conquest of the Crystal Palace? I have. Or Mystic Mystery Quest. I've heard of both of them. I've never played either of them. Yeah, that was a gold split. Uh, it's all coming down to, uh, I'm working, Colonists, I'm working out all the details in that first encounter now. Uh, it's all about when you, when you turn back and shoot the ray, where you're positioned. I find that when you grab, when you shoot the ray, Dr. Crusher, holy cow, two, 2,500 bits. Thank you so much for the $25, Dr. Crusher. Wow, I don't even know, I wanna do something for that. Let's do fireworks. 
Dr. Crusher, this is for you. Take that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, $25. That's many beers. I probably, Dr. Crusher, uh, I, I probably will use that on beer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dr. Crusher, I will use that $25 to brew a batch of beer for uh, Nest Fest. Aha, trying to push it to its limits now. Stop it. We measure currency and beer around here. Uh, yeah, I can brew f I can brew 50 good beers with 25 bucks. Right there, uh, thanks to Dr. Crusher, we are gonna have the Ryu Hayabrusa at Nestfest. Move too fast. I mean, that's like 10 beers around here. If you brew it yourself, you get a lot more. Okay. Got it again, gold! I found a way to speed it up a little bit. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I should do a triple wiggle. Right, we'll practice. I feel like that's a very... Ah, we've got a jelly. That's a special sound. Dr. Crusher with another $25. No way! All right, now we will brew. I, I haven't decided. So right now we are brewing the Rygar, or sorry, the, uh, the Ryu Hayabrusa. And I've wanted to brew the Dark Link, but the Dark Link is a Guinness clone and I don't know how to bottle it well with the nitrous like they do in the can. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a different beer than the Dark Link for Nest Fest. But that will go towards the surprise beer that nobody knows that I'm brewing for the event. So there is one beer that, there we have talked about it before, but there is one beer that we will do for Nest Fest. Uh, but I won't, I won't disclose the name of it yet, but Dr. Crusher has just funded that one. So three, we've got two beers out of the three for Nest Fest, which I didn't even know we were trying to fund, but isn't this, this is great. What yeast do you use for the Dark Link? Uh, Irish ale yeast, Arno. So it's, it's a Irish, uh, a dry Irish stout. So I Salt use a lot of Maris Otter, uh, base malt. Uh, it's basically Maris Otter, uh, with some uh, flake barley and a pound of roasted barley. And I think I use an ounce of Kent Goldings for bittering. Boil, uh, boil an ounce of Kent Goldies for the Goldings for the 60 minutes boil. Uh, Irish ale yeast. And then what I'm going to do this time, I found out that one of the things that they claim makes Guinness so special is Guinness actually spoils uh, or sours a little beer and adds it back to the beer uh, to give it its very distinct flavor. So I've done a decent amount of research to brewing your beer, taking a quart of beer off during fermentation, allowing it to sit out for like two days and sour a little bit, then boiling that to kill all the bacteria and then adding that soured beer back to the full batch 
uh, just to impart that. You can do it a couple different ways. You can add some acid to it to give it a soured taste. You can do that, but I kind of like this idea of naturally souring the beer a little bit to try to mimic uh, Guinness. My problem is if you've had a Guinness, you know about the, the, uh, the nitro or the beer gas that they put it on, giving it that real creamy uh, head in the real smooth, like rich beer. Uh, you don't get that with carbonating straight with CO2. I don't know if I can carbonate the beer and, and bottle it well. And I don't want to have flat beer given to people. Guinness needs that dead rats in the tank flavor. Yeah. I don't know what the hell Guinness does, but I like it. Like how Hershey adds some spoiled milk to get a very milky tasting milk chocolate. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Sharks in the salsa. Our shark. That wasn't right. That was so fast, but that wasn't right. How was that wrong? It was really good, but I don't know how it was wrong. That gold doesn't count. I'm really trying to push the boundaries of that encounter, but I don't know what I did wrong there. Bigger boat. Need to do an extra wiggle. Java Cheetos, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Jaws stream where we play Jaws. There is no bathroom. Mm -hmm. Bigger boat. Went faster at that encounter. It was nice. I can't get to the second encounter though because I suck. Ooh, that may be it. Nope. Have you ever heard? All caught up on chat. It's the too quick first encounter affecting the second. Nope. It is not. All right, let's do a Jaws fight just to keep that fresh. I remember playing this game when it came out on the NES. I had no clue what the goal was. You know, uh, poop deck. <laughs> uh, Have you seen my wiener? <laughs> Uh, I think that was a common thing with Jaws. It wasn't explained really well. Uh, oftentimes you get that with old games. Uh, they're just, they didn't hold your hand and guide you through. Uh, essentially with Jaws, you were meant to go around collecting shells and then go back and forth between the ports, leveling your power up so that when you ran into Jaws, you could kill Jaws in an encounter and then you do the final charge on Jaws. Uh, but nowhere was it really, I don't even remember the, the guidebook may have had it in it, the little manual, but I don't really know. But if you didn't look through the manual, you would, uh, very well be lost, uh, in this.
Good fight. Good fight. Release the doves. Very nice fight. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Edge, like I said, I think that was very common for people uh, getting this game and not knowing what to do. Nice! Very nice! So we're just periodically doing Jaws fights to keep... The hardest part of the game comes down to controlling your heart rate, which mine just broke 130 on a practice fight. Uh, controlling your heart rate through a Jaws fight uh, because it takes such silly precision just to get to Jaws. And then when you get there, the timing in which you have to use to fight Jaws is just ridiculous. So keeping your head about you is the hardest part. Imagine finding a dead shark with 135 harpoons stuck in it. Yeah, right. I'd still have a heart attack and die. Oops. I'm terrified of sharks. Now I've got a little hitch in my giddy up with this first encounter. There it was. I moved too far. I moved too far. Poop! I moved too far. Hmm. I think it's more than that Joker as well. Because we're shooting 22 harpoons a pass at seven passes. So it's 140 some. I think. <laughs> Poop deck. You caught. You rang. Yeah, second encounter is really hard. Getting into the second encounter is hard. Getting out is even harder. Well, maybe not. I'd say getting in is harder. Getting out may not be as hard, uh, but you don't get in very often. There's lots of ins and outs we're talking about here. Move to the left too fast. That's what she said. <laughs> then you still have to ram it with your boat, I know. <laughs> Say what? It's horde. Super horde! That was dumb. I'll catch this bird for you. It ain't gonna be easy. Shot too fast. There is no bathroom. Way too slow. Can you tell me my business again? None of your business.
I see the internet struggling here. That'll probably work. I think it's too slow again. Oh, I didn't shoot. I got the jelly though. Yeah, it is Matt D's fault, Joe Dosh. Without him, without him, we wouldn't have good internet to struggle with. Of course not. Spaghetti. Resetty spaghetti, that is. There's a shark. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. There it is. There's the whole damn thing. You want it to have whining about too slow? Oh. This is too slow! Ugh, oh, too slow. Let's do it all the time now. This was too slow. Ah, oh, way too slow. Oh, that was slow. Shot them way too slow. I missed a shot because it was too slow. Well, I mean, it makes sense, colonizer. Every, I mean, all of the overworld wiggles and stuff, we're hoping to do them fast enough. They have to be fast enough, you know what I mean? So our concerns are never, oh, that was too fast. You know, our concerns are always, ah, was that too slow? Too slow. Too far. I'm really missing that wiggle. Let's do the second encounter. We're gonna practice the second encounter until we actually get one because it's been, we've had quite the uh, slump. If we try adding a fourth shimmy to the first overworld, we'll be at risk of being too fast. But you'll know you're too fast when the Jaws shows up during the death encounter.
How many shimmies do we have? We've got two shimmies in the first one. You're saying we could do a four shimmy? You're doing PB attempts? Oh. Oh, you guys are talking about something else. Let's go from here. We have down one, two, one, two, three. Okay, I see what you're saying. Why am I not able to save it? That's dumb. What the hell? Maybe I don't have the save state as down and... Oh, I don't have it as down. That's what it is. Need an old dirty bastard shimmy command. All right, there we go. Again, so we're gonna do this until we get into this encounter. We're gonna get into the encounter and successfully complete it. This could take a little while, but. Too late. My shimmy at the end is just terrible. That was perfect. Find me the audio. We can do anything. We're, we're good. That was good again. not turning and shooting fast enough. <laughs> Does that seem really slow? to the left too soon. Yeah, Colin, I'm still just practicing the second encounter, but that was too slow. That may have been too slow. F too fast. I may not be far enough to the right. 
Not nah, that one was good. A oh, I guess I, I guess I do have the practice raw man. I can just look. I'm not looking at the the bottom. I'm not looking at the bottom. That's my fault. I'm not making that second shimmy fast enough. That was a great shimmy, I just didn't have the first one. Great. I'm practicing it from here. And I move to the left or right too soon. Big Otis says, I've seen this so many times, I know what the correct shimmy looks like now from not knowing this run existed a week ago. <laughs> you do get to see it a lot, don't you? That was it. I want to do something here. Great shimmy. went down too far crap I want I was thinking about keeping it there because then we could actually see technically colonizer if you're frame perfect jaws will never stop being orange right or will he be he will be gray for one frame I want to test something just for just for fun Oh, Jaws fight won't work. No, I have to do it from where I was. There will be one frame. All right, so let's let's go to get to Jaws again. All right, so I feel like that feels better now. So let's get to Jaws again. And then for fun. Nice shimmy. You mean you're gonna play Z1 instead of Jaws? Ew, gross, that sounds terrible. Lakuna Matata, is that your idea? Your idea is gross. we go using that word again, Jaws. Okay, 
So that's all I wanted to do. That's a nor I'm gonna stop the recording here. That is a normal 22 pass. Let's see, out of those 22, how many of them are frame perfect and how many of them are not? It's only, it, it only records at 30 frames a second though. So I feel like a lot of them are going to seem like frame perfect, right? Let's see. It's just for funsies. <laughs> Goodbye. Hi, it's me. Uh, now we're down here. Isn't that nice? It's going to take a second to load. Spicy tuna melt. Oh, I haven't had one of those in a while. I'm with you, Weevil of Doom. Tuna melt. Got it. Doing it. I'm doing it. It's going to happen. I'm putting it inside of my body. Love it. So, colonizer, it'll throw it off because we'll be black for one frame, or uh, Jaws will, even if it's two frames, it still will look like one frame, if I'm right, which means most of this will look frame perfect. Beings that he's not, because when, he, when you hit Jaws, he goes into iframes and he's that yellow cover, color in this practice ROM. And when he's out of iframes, he won't be yellow anymore. Technically, frame perfect would be in iframes, not yellow for one frame, and then you hit him again. That would technically be frame perfect. Yellow, one, one frame, one, two, that was two frames, so that one wasn't. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's your 24 frames. He never changed there. So that one there, colonizer, we can guarantee was frame perfect because it didn't even show up. It was the one frame lost by the recording frame rate. Yeah, exactly. One frame may look like zero, which was what that one was. So there's one frame, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One frame, two frames, three. Oh, this is where I messed up. Okay. We reload the save state. This is the 22. So there's gold and one. Oh, I messed up again. Gold, one. I messed up again. I wanted to get a good start. So there's the first hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. Two frames. Messed up again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. Hit again. So there's so that's either a one frame or a two frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. So that was a that was at least two or three frames right there. One, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. There we go. So uh, yeah, it could have been three frames. So it's at least two frames to show up because. If it shows up for two frames, it could still only be two frames because it'll be on the end in the beginning. Or no, maybe, maybe it would be three. Either way. And why I'm counting to 12 is there's 24 frames, but this is 30 frames a second. Uh, I could switch the recording to record at 60 frames, but I'm not going to do that right now. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. 
there's at least three. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. Aha! That was it. That was guaranteed frame perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. That's frame perfect. Two. So it's at least two frame perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. That those could be frame perfect as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. Ooh, another frame perfect. So it's at least three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One frame. Ah, there's another frame perfect. Four frame perfects. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boom. One frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's another one framer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Another one. And then that's actually the 22. So we've guaranteed four of those are frame perfect. Um, but there was another 10 of them that very well could have been frame perfect. I think you have to end stream to change those settings. Yeah, I'm not going to do it today, but I could do I could do a practice. So what I'd like to do is I would like to do a good fight at, and record it at 60 frames a second and count how many frame perfect inputs there are in the fight. Because I've said it before and I'd like to, I've said it like, there, I bet you there's 50 of them. Maybe there's not. Um, but there was guaranteed four in that pass to get a 22. And I would argue that there was probably more like eight, you know, because some of them that are only up there for one frame could very well still be a, a, a frame perfect input. Anyways, it's interesting. It's interesting. Where am I at? Boop, boop. Hi, I'm back up here now. All right, let's just put the game in and play a little bit. Ugh, cubicles, they sound terrible. I'm kind of in a cubicle. Joker, the task can get 23 in one pass. In order to get 23, 18 of them must be frame perfect. I've had at least four, maybe five, uh, 23 passes. That's too slow. Oh, I did that wrong anyways. But you're not sitting in a sea of cubicles. That's very true. Old damn thing. Ah, 
That's pretty slow right there. Ninja Gaiden! Bigger boat! World record time. I hope so. I got hung up my brain. I didn't know what I was doing. But the, the start to both encounters are very, very similar. And sometimes I don't differentiate and... And I start the uh, the first encounter like I should the second, and vice versa. Oh wow! Come on, me. I hate that entrance to that encounter. That's my problem today, is that entrance. You're all thumbs. I used thumb for that one. I figured out why, Colin. Did I tell you why? That could be too slow as well. I think it was. Oh, yeah, it definitely was. Uh, when I use my fingers, I'm too fast on the first one. The thumb allows me to do the first one better. Uh, the double wiggle at the end, I'm better at with my, my two fingers as, as opposed to the thumb. But I'm much more consistent overall with uh, the thumb wiggle. I used three fingers for the first overworld here. I used the three fingers for that. But yeah, it's, it's the first wiggle I can't get. My fingers move too fast when I've got multiple fingers. You know, see how quickly I can, you know, I, I wiggle there. And I mean, I could learn to do it, but I get multiple inputs. I get these weird up and down inputs because I'm trying to get three fingers to fit on the D-pad. And that's where my consistency is much better just using the thumb, but the final double wiggle is really hard with your thumb. I keep missing the placement of that second wiggle. There it was. Well, it's a triple finger strat. That's what it is. Too early. No, I think I got it. Nope, I didn't. That was too early. The double wiggle in was good.
That's pretty slow there. There is no bathroom. Big Otis says, today's the day. Well, I tell you what, confidence is a huge thing. And I don't have the confidence today because we've been playing Jaws for an hour and a half and I've yet to get to Jaws. So my confidence is not high, which is not good. When your confidence is low, you second guess things. You don't have time to second guess things in Jaws. It's too precise. I'm not saying that we won't get it, but I was really confident the last two days, not so much today. I don't, when I'm going for that last wiggle, I'm thinking about it. You can't think about it. I'm trying to think, why is it not working? How do I make it work? You can't be thinking about it. It happens way too fast to actually think. If there is a kid under 10 that can beat this game, I will crown them emperor. Bosh, this game's actually, let me, uh, let me ruin this game for you. This game's actually incredibly easy to beat. Uh, I co-wrote a guidebook to this game called uh, The Easy Way Guide uh, to Jaws. Let me show you how you can beat Jaws uh, effectively uh, easy, perfect. This will be a fun distraction. Yeah, this is casually beating it right here. Uh, the game, for the first half a dozen encounters, the game cannot, sp ooh, the game cannot spawn a jellyfish underneath you. Uh, also, the game will al always spawn rays on the opposite side of the screen that you're on. So by staying in one of the bottom corners, we can guarantee that a ray will never spawn behind us and a jellyfish will never spawn underneath us. So we can just sit here and collect, uh, collect shells. That's it. Now we're gonna continue on our way. Jaws will be to the lower right. So we're gonna go around this and get an encounter here. Uh, we can do a very similar thing. Beat it a boop. Skeety boop. Mm -hmm. There's a shell. Uh, were you a Nintendo phone counselor in another life? This is gold. Yeah, Bosh, keep watching it. Gets, it's kind of funny. You'll enjoy this. So we, we don't need that many shells. All we need is power three to kill Jaws. At the end of the second encounter, anytime you finish two encounters without dying, the game will give you a baby shark, which is a guaranteed shell and will take you to the bonus scene. There's Baby Shark, Guaranteed Shell, and Bonus Scene. For the bonus scene, I'm gonna sip on some coffee and just press the button. We need to get a couple shells here 
If you just kind of slowly press the button, you're going to kill enough of these things to get a couple shells. My best run for a world record on a game like this usually occurs within a few tries. After that, burnout. It's difficult to stay so motivated after so many failed attempts. Parse, I agree, and that's why uh, I did Super Mario Bros. 3 this morning, uh, just to kind of split things up a little bit. I think all we need is like 10 hits or something. We got 15. We're still not done. I think that was it. Now we have enough shells to get the receiver. The receiver is a requirement. Uh, you have to get the receiver right here. And it, it also brings Jaws around that island. You have to get the receiver before you can upgrade your power. Now we want one more encounter. Oops, I didn't want to kill. That's nice. There we go. I think we need nine shells. I can't remember. So we need one more shell drop. Hopefully, I better get one. There it is. No baby shark. So now we have just enough shells to come into this port to get power two. After that encounter, there's a long delay in overworld encounters, which means we should have the ability to go around Jaws there and get up for power three. Actually, we had, we had plenty of shells. We had plenty of shells. We only needed eight there. And now we come out in here for Jaws. Now, you can try to hit Jaws from the boat. You do more damage. Jaws eventually gets rid of you. A couple things to know, Bosch, is if you're at the very top, Jaws can't hit you, but you can't hit Jaws. If you go down one pixel, you can hit Jaws, but Jaws can't hit you, which is really, really useful. But it's actually not the easiest way to beat Jaws. We only wanna fight Jaws at power three. Normally, if you get power three, you'll never be able to kill Jaws before the encounter ends. When the encounter ends, Jaws uh, goes back into the overworld, will attack you again, and he regains life. What makes the encounter end is when the game has produced all of the enemies that it's set to produce. So each encounter, the game is going to make about 25 enemies or something like that. Uh, it creates them, and then they either get killed once they get killed, the game will create another one from the list, or they will get all the way to the top of the screen and they'll unload and then the game will create another one. By going to the bottom of the encounter, we can spawn rays. You see those two rays? We can spawn these rays in lower. They'll have to exit the screen and then they go up a little bit, they come back on, up a little bit, come back on, up a little bit. And it takes them longer to get to the top of the screen, longer to unload, longer for the game to create new ones, the encounter lasts longer. If you're at the top of the screen, this encounter is gonna last about a minute, at the bottom it'll last like three minutes, which gives you plenty of time to kill Jaws. All we wanna do is I say we need to seek refuge in the tiny bush. So this little tiny bush right here, we're just gonna sit here, yipe, shoot at Jaws, and then anytime Jaws comes, we're just gonna dive underneath him and then bring Jaws back up to the bush. Meanwhile, these rays are gonna take forever to get all the way to the top, and we can just continue this. It's not hard, we're not chasing rays around. As long as we don't move left or right, a jellyfish will never hit us. So we're just gonna sit here, Dive down, move back up, stay right by that bush. No left and right. We never worry about jellyfish. If there happens to be a ray underneath us when we need to dodge Jaws, we'll dodge him going up instead of down. Dodge down, back up.
Like we'll go up there because the rays are kind of underneath us. Ooh, baby shark. Oh, that's that's really. Oh, it's because I showed off the top of the screen. I'm like, why is this not lasting long enough? It's because I showed off uh, the top of the screen. Now we're having to dodge Baby Shark. You shouldn't ever have to dodge Baby Shark. Now we're going to lose the encounter. Shit. Okay. Um, we'll wait here for Jaws again. You'll see Jaws regains some life. Remember at the beginning of that Bosch, I was showing off the top of the, you know, being one pixel down. While I was doing that, the game was working through encounter, so the encounter didn't last as long. If we would have immediately got knocked out of the boat and came directly down here, it would have been better. Uh, now we're in an interesting encounter where it's all jellyfish. They're mostly jellyfish. It's harder to not hit them. Now we get some rays. Same technique. This encounter is the, the fifth encounter. It's actually quite a bit more difficult than the other encounters. You should never get there. Somewhere there's a Jaws tester that feels like a chump right now. So another thing, people got to this point of Jaws and got really anxious. So part of writing the guidebook is we needed to know everything. One of the things was, will this ever end? The answer to that is no. I left my TV and my console on. The graphics will eventually kind of glitch out. Sometimes it happens pretty quick. Uh, but this will never end, meaning you don't have to be in a rush. When Jaws is coming at you, he chooses to change directions on five different locations, but essentially, the last part of the Jaws cha charge, he'll either be moving right or moving uh, left or moving straight. So at the end, he's got three different things he could be doing. If you stand just to the right side of Jaws, when he makes that last decision, okay, if I'm on the right, if he moves left, you'll never be able to hit him. But if he moves straight down, or to the right, you can hit him. So I stay on the right and straight down. Boom, I could have hit Jaws. Wait here again and just stay on one side. That gives you a two out of three chance. So stay on the right side. If he moves right, you follow him right. He's straight, boom, could have hit him. If he goes left, you'll just have to wait. But again, you have all of the time in the world. Now, you want to press the strobe. Here we go, go right, he stays right, boom, could have hit him. You want to press the strobe when the tip of your boat it is uh, right at the bottom of his fin where it meets the water. Actually, you want the bottom of his fin to be lined up with that black line, and then you strobe, but you want him to be lined up so you're following him. Then he's gonna come out of the water and show you his boobs, show you his breasts. All right, we'll try it on the left side here because we're on the left. Oh, missed him. All right, now I'll show you what it's like. You do only have three strobes, but as long as you take your time, you will never lose at the end. Waiting, he's going right, we lined up, and boom. Stab him in his titty. We yacht him right in the gill hole. Do you have to manipulate him popping up? Jaguard, A, strobes, which makes him come out of the water. B, stabs with your boat. So at the end, you get him lined up and then hit A, he comes out, hit B and you kill him. So Bosch, that is a really easy way to beat Jaws. We wrote a book about it. <laughs> so now you know enough to put in Jaws, hang out in the bottom corner, work your way, get power three, fight Jaws and win. Uh, you should be able to beat Jaws pretty easily every time you try. Uh, I would suggest if you are trying it, Bosch, and you die, just reset. It's easier to reset than to continue to try. So you might as well, when you do it, Bosch, you will do it without dying. Uh, it's just the better way to do it. Because as you progress in Jaws, if you die, it takes away your power-ups 
but the encounters continue to get harder. As you get farther in the game and you complete more encounters, the game makes them increasingly harder. But it doesn't take into consideration how good your character is. So you could get later on in the game and die a bunch of times and be just as good as you were at the very beginning of the game, but the game be incredibly hard because it thinks you're farther. That's a little bit of the poor coding, but like Colonizer says, they programmed this game in uh, in a month. So, I need this game for my nest. It seems well worth it. Case, you absolutely should get it. It's a great game. He's a shark. Case Weebs, thank you so much for the roses. It's a great white. Bad fish. Mystical one, you look like you're all out of tomatoes. to the right a little bit too fast so now you guys can see some of the things that I'm doing now that you realize that uh, that rays always spawn on the opposite side of the screen I'm moving back and forth to put rays in different spots I'm also trying to kill jellyfish in the right spot if a jellyfish tries to spawn underneath you the game moves it so I'm moving out of the way uh, to make sure jellyfish spawns spawn where I want to. If I say I moved right too fast, that means I move from the left side of the screen to the right side too quickly and a ray spawns behind me where I don't want it. Or I move too quickly over where a jellyfish is going to spawn, moving its location. It's all about being in the right spot at the right time, but being in those spots as quickly as you can to optimize for speed. LJN would never rush a licensed game to market. <laughs> never. Never. A little early on the second shimmy. Do you have to be on Twitch to do all the commands, like tomatoes and stuff? Case Weems, that's all Twitch stuff, yep. Um, so Case Weems, the overlay that you see with like uh, Master Clean, or if I, if I change the, the, the game out of the console, that kind of stuff is all uh, a software that I wrote for an interactive overlay. My software only talks to Twitch. I'm not a programmer. I'm all self-taught. I don't know how to make it talk to different platforms. Right now, my software only talks to Twitch. So in order to use any of that stuff, you do have to be on the Twitch stream. I would offer it other places. I just don't know how. Clarissa, do you have to play Battleship? Hell yeah, I do, Clarissa. There is no bathroom. Those wiggles are hard. Do this? Of course not. 
Jagard, it's a hard one. Too far. Yeah. That I was too late day. on that first Maybe. shimmy. I went like a pixel or two too far. Too early on the second shimmy. Bigger boat. That was almost slow. Retro Raji, it's doing good, doing good, 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 good day. Ooh, we, we may have got it. No. Z1 is now. Show me, Neo. Hey, Mikey. Mikey, I think he likes it. Uh, Retro Razi, not a good day for, for Jaws. Let's do a Jaws fight. I'm trying to, so there's something about the, uh, the shimmy and stuff that's giving me a hard time. And I'm trying to break it up with some other practice to in some way break the funk. Uh, that is me not being able to do that shimmy. It's not working, but I'm just attempting to break the funk. I uh, tried sneaking around him there. Maybe you need to run a different game for cleanse. Uh, Retro Raji, we did that this morning. We had a five hit playthrough of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. So we started the day off, we did Super Mario Brothers 3, we did a full playthrough with five hits and was like, ah, cool, let's get into Jaws. And then we sucked at Jaws. Nice. Very nice. Yawn him!
Yada him in the gill hole. I did, I did. We're gonna put Big Nose Caveman into this rotation. Nah, 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 nah. Probably, if we're gonna do anything, we're gonna do uh, a different game. Probably. Play something that is truly fun for you, maybe. Jaws? This is fun. Fun game. Mm -hmm. I just love hearing the no. Yeah, so Bosch, that is an example of a fight of Jaws that's fast enough to get world record. Now, you watch me play the game and you notice that I never get to Jaws because the gameplay getting to Jaws is really hard. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm ready when I get there. How many viewers you got on Twitch right now? Looks like 90 and then another uh, between Twitch, between Twitch and YouTube and Twitter, we've got 150. And then I still keep TikTok going because I love you guys over there too, but there's only four over on TikTok. That's why, Case, I, I don't mean to do it, but sometimes I neglect TikTok because it doesn't get much attention, uh, not in comparison to the other platforms. F Twitter and the B. I, I, I have the ability to, to stream on Twitter, so I just do it anyways. I'm live there just because I can. Raji! Retro Raji. <laughs> Missed it. Reset. Slack. Now, how do you run Twitter chat with all this? I'm good at keeping track of chats. I've got four of them. That's too slow. No, uh, Retro Raji, there's a, so there's a uh, service website called Restream. Uh, Restream allows you to stream to different platforms and then smashes the chats into one. So my Restream chat has YouTube, TikTok, no, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm gonna do Kick as well. I'm gonna kick some ass on a different platform. Uh, I'm just gonna do Kick because why not? Uh, but, because I can't get a stream key via TikTok, I have to use TikTok's live thing. If I could get a stream key over there, I could put it into Restream. It's not X, it's Twitter. I refuse to call it anything else. I'm gonna call it WQLN. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. Crash my spaceship! Yeah, TikTok doesn't give away stream keys. God, I hate that wiggle. I'm not mad. I don't get mad. I'm not my mom. Uh, it's possible that restream chat is the dumbest thing ever created by the internet, and I helped. Jgard, wait, no, Jgames is part of Restream? Why don't you tell me? Why don't you get it to me for free? I pay for it. You should get it for free for me. So I don't have to pay for it if you did it. You jerk. I thought we were friends. Shit. Why don't Outback and Death in the first encounter each time? Why don't Outback a death? Why, why don't Outback a death in that first encounter each time? Question mark. Why don't Outback a death in that first encounter each time? I'm, I'm missing it. <laughs> why do you take a death? So, Bosh, when you were watching, I did that casual. I said, if you complete two encounters successfully, it takes you to the bonus scene where you're the airplane and you drop bombs. The original speed run used to complete both first encounters perfectly, do a perfect bonus scene, collect enough points to get the mini sub and fight Jaws that way. But Space Colonizer came up with the death route, 
we get just enough shells in the first encounter, we die. That will take half of our shells from four to two. We die so that we can do the second encounter and afterwards we haven't done too successful, meaning it will it'll skip the bonus scene and allow us to go to Jaws directly with power three and fight Jaws like you saw me a minute ago. So the death is to keep that bonus scene from crappening. That's why we do it. The more you know. Shit. The more it snows. Beautiful. This is nice and fast. Whew. We blow that troll's the best. I haven't been able to get into that encounter all day. Which sucks because I was nailing it yesterday and the day before. Yesterday, I had five runs to Jaws and I bet you I missed 15 second encounters. So that wiggle that I can't seem to do today, I did at least 20 times yesterday. Would not be sad if it's the only troll that ever trolled. What do you mean? It's, a car -carrying, car -carrying. it's all right. Retro Raji, that's what happened. Speed running is uh, balanced insanity. This is fast. Goal, baby. I knew it felt good. I knew it felt good. And that's gold. Yes. No, shit. I missed the first wiggle. The second wiggle was perfect. The first one wasn't. Fudge, hard K on the fudge. <sighs> Would not be able to handle the rage factor. Yeah, yeah, this, so there's something extremely comforting in uh, Jaws. Retro Raji, it's three minutes. When you, that gold split is real, that's nice. When you're doing Jaws, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just reset and you just start over. You, it, it hurts more when you reset on a Jaws fight. That hurts more. But you're resetting within the first minute of the game. Who really cares at that point? You know what I mean? You just kind of repeat. So as far as speed runs that happen in this way, I've never really worried so much. Jaws, Kung Fu is another one that's like just over three minutes. I love them really short, ultra precise speed runs. You get into like the 10 to, to 20 minute runs, it gets a little bit worse when you reset. But then you get into the damageless runs that are an hour, hour and a half, uh, linked to the past two and a half hours. Now you start to feel the pain when you reset, especially if you have to reset later on. I get more beat up emotionally over those than I do speed runs. Retro Raj, you should definitely give it a playthrough, but uh, it also, it's always one of my recommended speed runs as well. This in Kung Fu. This Kung Fu, Double Dragon, all recommended speedruns.
I would say beginner level, I would do Kung Fu. If you want a, a fun beginner level speed run, I would do Kung Fu. If you want to test your button pressing timing and your memorization, Jaws is great because it's, a com it's completely memorized. Uh, Kung Fu is very similar, but Kung Fu is more lenient. Uh, if you don't do exactly what you need to in Kung Fu, you can get away with it. If you do it in Jaws and you don't do what you're supposed to do, you reset. So there's a difference between the two. If you don't follow a strict route in Jaws, it's going to take you six minutes to beat the game. If you follow a route, you'll beat it in just over three minutes. It's night and day. There's no middle ground. Kung Fu allows you to slowly get a better and better and better and better and better time. So Kung Fu is, is interesting in that you can take more of the runs to the end of the game and you can slowly get better and better. Is it? It's not now. Try it out, Jagart. It's not broken now. I have a reconnect button. I'm smart. You win. Perfect. <laughs> that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Who wrote you win perfect? Why did the perfect command go off? There is no bathroom. Gross. It's just swimming with bow legged women. Dumb. I told you chat isn't showing on your screen. That's not me. Chat on the screen is is on the screen is Streamlabs. I can't I can't do anything about Streamlabs being dumb. No one knew this one though. Raf is the worst. You're saying it still didn't work? I can def. I, I just did it again, Jade, uh, Jagard. I can. I can see your last comment. So maybe it didn't reset well the first time. But as far as this chat not scrolling down here, that's uh, that's Streamlabs. You know what I could do? What if I did this? What if I did... It won't, it won't do it. So I can't do...
I can't do restream chat and display it here. Well worth the $2,500. What happened? I've never beat Sky Kid or Top Gun. You? Crap. I never even beat Adventure Island. Bosh, Adventure Island is one of the most difficult games on the entire system, if not the most difficult game. Adventure Island lulls you into like this, hey, this game's fun. This game could be good. Uh, ridiculously hard game. I've never beat any of those games. Sky Kid is ridiculous. Top Gun is stupid. Uh, Bosh, I do tend to do challenges in harder games. Uh, if we do this command, uh, Bosh, if you look at that list, though, that is the list of games that I've beaten without, uh, diff uh, without damage. Grand Design says Adventure Island is the hardest game I ever beat. I haven't played it since 2002. What's up, Grand Design? Um, so how do I take, I'm trying to figure out how I can capture restream chat and OBS because that one hasn't broken. Oh, there it is. So now I should be able to go to chat. Now, can I chroma key that out? You absolute silly bitchel. Can you guys even read this now? You can't really even read it. That's weird. I can't size it well enough for you could actually read it because it doesn't allow me to size it in a usable way. That's dumb. What if I what if I resized it here? No. Nope. Doing some testies here. Cuz if I size it in a way that it actually fits I don't think you guys can read this. Do because it was against... T yeah, uh, J Games, We, I, I wasn't doing that, but to be honest with you, uh, what, and what if we did it? There's not that much interaction on the other ones. There's a handful of... A handful of things. Uh, so I don't think I'm too worried...
Like we could do that, but can you guys even read this? And we would want the last comment as well. Oh, so the last comments are at the top. It reads backwards. That's weird. Or is that right? You're backwards. You're, you're an idiot. <laughs> but I can't even tell if you guys can read that. Let me see. I, I got to adjust this a little bit bigger. Yeah. That's backwards. So the first comment comes in at the top and they scroll down, which is all right. I don't mind that they go in the top and scroll down. I just can't resize it or anything, which is really dumb. Ooh, what if I do settings here? Appearance. Oh, I can scale it. Compact mode. Oh, I like that. Now, did that change it over here? It didn't, but it changed it over here. But that's kind of weird, though. I don't like that now. I like that being a little bit bigger. That's what she said. Maybe I got to redo this. It's still small. That's dumb. Oh, here we go. I think I'm doing things now. Did that change it? Hey, look at I did it! Stupid smart thing! So I'm able to make it better like that. So now it basically just shows one message at a time though, but whatever. Is it safe? So 
the the problem is, is it's gonna move really, really fast. I guess I could do more settings. Ugh, I hate it. F word. Uh, um, theme default. Eight bit. What's eight bit? Oh, we'll try eight bit. Message aligned at the top. That's what we uh, message background opacity. Message background opacity and chat. Oh, let's just make it uh, invisible. Perfect. The scaling, let's go a little bit smaller. Hide messages, don't understand that. Oh, no, that uh, we want chat. Oh, it's on white. I got it. I got it. I got it now. Let's do this. Let's try. Let's try. Hey! Yeah, shit! Did it! I, I'm smart! None of you guys believed in me. Bunch of jerks. You know what's stupid? Look at the distance between them, though. Why is there such a huge distance between the messages? There's this huge distance between messages, and I can't stop it. Like, I can't, if I smush them together. Like, why? Why is there such a huge distance between messages? That is the, that is the dumb. That is dumb and I don't like it. Theme, eight bit compact. Ooh, we want that. Actually, I don't know if we want eight bit. Uh, Fortnite compact, oh, Fortnite. I can fork knife. Fork knife compact. Go, go team go. Let's we'll see what this is all about. Fortnite compact. Show it to me, folks. Oops. Write something. Hey, I like this. Write more stuff. Hey, I like it. This is, we're getting somewhere now. I think it's too bold or too small. So. So two things I need to do is there's a button to make it Twitch only. So now this is Twitch only. That way I don't get in trouble. I don't know if I like fork knifing. And we need to make it a bit bigger. How about, uh, oh, this is perfect. We love Doom's favorite. I want, I want normal, default compact. There you did it. There you did it. Watch this, it will be perfect.
Now messages are going to chat hell. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Mike, you're funny. You're funny person. You're funny. You're funny. You're funny. Were you going to type anything or what? Yeah. The chat is ready to display messages. This is nice looking. It's better than it was before. What do you guys think? That's not bad. It's still going to be just Twitch. What the heck? The last message is cut off. Oh, the top message is cut off. Oh, that's weird. Like it, it actually is though. So it doesn't display the last message quite at the right time. Uh, this is enough fooling around. We also see part of the Twitch logo on the left. How about all of the Twitch logo on the left? It's weird that it doesn't display, like uh, right now, we don't get uh, that last message. Let me take and reset transformation. The last message, okay, we've got it now. Something happened, I was doing something weird. We've got the last message there. So let's go to there and we can just leave it just like that. You win, perfect. So we can do this. This allows me to not, because Streamlabs is being really weird. Now, what do you guys think about me including uh, other chats as well? Do you think I'll get in trouble? I don't want to get in trouble. You're not supposed to display other chats. But I think they, I think people do. This is fine now. F the other chats. So like, he, uh, we don't get that many chats from other streams, so it doesn't really matter. This just keeps it where Streamlabs gets cut off. This doesn't. How did Super Mario Bros. 3 go this morning? Uh, Carrot Cake, I had a five hit playthrough. So pretty good. Five hits isn't bad. Hey, wait a minute, man. You sure you know how to 
Quit telling him who he isn't, Matt D. Yeah, Matt D, I'll hot tub stream if I want a hot tub stream. I'm out in the hot tub stream, but go off. I go off. It'd just be a hot tub. Like, I'm not going to be in it or show any. I mean, it's, it's, it would just be a hot tub. You know what I mean? Just a, uh, just a classy hot tub without a person in it. Something nice. You know what I mean? Something real nice. I wanted to... I want it to really feel classy. Yeah, hot tub full of ice and beer. Real classy like, yeah. I could dig hot, classy hot tub. Well, that's what I meant, Big Otis. That's what I meant. Okay. I just can't do it today. I don't know what's up. I can't do it today. J Game says new chat makes your brain hurt. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Take that then. <laughs> what part don't you like about it? The blue? I wonder if I can change it. Bigger boot! It's upside down. I mean, I can get it to go the other way. You guys want it to scroll the other way? I mean, I can do that. Let me now or forever hold your P's and Q's. Let me know now. Let me know now. Nope, no one let me know, so it's this way forever now. You're lucky. You're lucky I looked at that right there at the end. Burp. Burp. You have to speak now. Go! Is that better than a bunch of babies? This is baby chat for babies, I guess now. I guess now my chat's baby chat for babies. For baby chatters. We don't like the way that you do it. I want chat heaven, not chat hell. Eww. Baby chat for baby chatters. <laughs> yeah, much better for us crybabies. Stinging baby chatter babies. You'll notice that Weeble of Doom wasn't complaining. Yeah, maybe.
Maybe. Ah, Pyrrhus! That's the closest we've come today. It was the second encounter. Wiggle still wasn't there. I cannot handle change. Uh, oh, you I just want to go back now? Chat to go. Chat to go. What? New things scare me, confuse me. Babies. Sub baby. No, this is good. Fine. Ugh. Hey, can I change the color? Because I don't like it to be the color of that color. I wish it had name colors. Like the name colors that the names have colors. Holy, holy cowist. If you write a super long paragraph, can we read it? Like if we keep writing and the story is really interesting, will it get cut off and disappear forever from the VOD? There's a 500 character limit on most characters. There's 500 characters here. No, it reads the whole thing perfectly. It fit it perfect. That's what she said. Great. What an upgrade we had right there. What an upgrade for you babies. Chat babies. I did that for you just to stop the whining. Move too fast. I need a couple of boats fast and somebody who can kill a shark. It's a big one. It perfectly displays the chat to limit. Perfect. I actually did that on purpose. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Take that, you little ankle biters. Is this gold? No, it's a nine again, though. That was super fast. Now, who did the th the thing? Someone did it. There you go. Hunter. Hi everyone, it's me, Brian. Always remember that today is the day that us little babies finally got our way. The whining is over. For now. For now. Yeah, it's a st it's stupid whiners. I'm going to I'm going to give myself cool little commands that I can play. That's like Ugh. Ugh. You should just record that. Not gonna though. That'd be too much work oh for a bunch God. of whiners. Holy cow! That was a mixture of a sad cow and a baby. I'm starting to melt my brain again. Jaws fight. Do something to switch it up. I haven't seen Jaws yet today. Besides, besides just practice. That's how terrible that encounter's been going. So dumb and loose.
Should have just went with one more. That's still record, though, I think. Oops. Oh, gross. <laughs> Miss! We can split it up by finishing a run. You can't... You can't finish a run! If I, if I could, I would! But I can't, so I won't! fight. Hi, I'm back. It's me, Boobs Poot. Hi, Sassy. Dead. Baby shark, never to play ever again. That's what I think of that song. Stab it in its gill hole with my yacht stick. That's it. <sighs> If only I could get to the Jaws fight. Jaws fights feel good. The other day I could get to Jaws, but I couldn't fight him. Sassy, I changed the uh, chat. I changed the chat. Is the chat okay with you? Um, I had to change it because... Uh, Streamlabs always disconnects and is being dumb. So I had to change it. Then, everyone started crying and whining about it like little babies. I'm sure you're not gonna do that because you're awesome. Missed the turn. Slack, we got good news today with more discounted rates at a different hotel for Nest Fest. <gasps> what? Really? That's super cool. Sassy, you were the best. I knew that hiring you for free was the best thing that we could have done. Good job, Sassy. Have you checked if that baby shark gets your VOD demonetized? It didn't yesterday, but you know what got it demonetized yesterday, Warlord Zen? American Dreams intro. I love it because I'm an adult. You are an adult, boobs poot. Good job, good for you. I'm very happy. Do do happy. Here's a shark. Here's a shark. All right, I'm gonna, I am going to practice that second encounter a godzillion times. One complete godzillion. I'm just gonna enter the encounter over and 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 over Whoa! It's like drugs. 
Why don't you ever try the encounter under? <laughs> oh. All right, I got a challenge for you. Everybody in the chat, how many overs was there? And overs, how many was there? Someone's clipping it now. You jerks clip everything that's terrible in the stream. I guarantee somebody is clipping that. Case Weem says 12. I'm thinking 57. 69. <laughs> You're funny. 42. Someone clip it and we'll count the over and overs. And over and over. Sassy's already got it. One complete Godzillion. <laughs> I said Godzillion. All right, you guys ready to count them over and overs again? Where's the button? Goodbye. Hi, it's me. I am down here. We're going to count them over and overs again. Complete Godzillion. I'm just going to enter the encounter over and 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 over I'm just going to enter the encounter over and over. 68 and over and over again. That's the record. Challenge to anybody on Twitch. Beat my 68 and over and overs again. Was it 68 or was it 69? Oh. And over. Now it's 69. <laughs> Oh, funny. So, can you please? It's from Sassy Stream. It's great. Did it. Nailed it. You were one short. I need somebody to do the very uh, amazing 69 over and overs again. Warlord Zen says, I win prices, right rules. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey. Everyone, shut up. That is nice, better than the other one. Uh, replay. American sweet. We ought to we ought to use that one, uh, so it doesn't demonif demonificate it, my stuff, and over and over again. And there's that. There's that. We did all the things. Sassy's not self conscious. She's got a beautiful voice. Unlike your chin. I can't believe you show that in public. There is no bathroom. It's like a, it's like a face butt. And yet you go out and you shave it to make it even more prolific. Pro, pro, prolific. <laughs> what was I doing? Where am I? Over and over and over again. Someone's got to do 69. Uh, okay. Down. And over. I don't think that was fast enough. Down. And over. Oops. Unsub. No one talks about my boyfriend that way. It's okay, Chin. You're be I love how your boyfriend is Matt's chin and not Matt himself. <laughs> it's, it's just his face butt. Oh. That's funny. Uh oh, funny. That was good. Oh, 
I counted and also got 69. No way. No way. That is the greatest Nova Nova that's ever happened. There's no way I got 69 first try. The sex number. You try. It's not as easy as it looked. I'm sure if you watch me uh, do that, you're like, wow, this looks really easy. I guarantee that I could do this. Uh, Nova and over again, like perfect. Got 69 first try. My gosh, what a record! What a record! button. Why? That was perfect. That wasn't. I tried using the nutbag in their stream and I didn't get banned. In NASA? Wow! I didn't think NASA was opening up their policies on nutbag usage. NASA's chat's pretty wild! That's funny. That's great. That's great. I like to see more accepting of nutbags just across the board, really. You drop their nutbag in their chat during the eclipse and it wasn't removed. Winning. A bunch of science nerds and some outlandish shit, really. All right, apart from the sanitation, medicine, education, so many words. Why? Why so many words? Gosh. Whine all day about the chat. Just whine and whine and then throw so many words. So many. Wine, public order, irrigation, roads, fresh water system, public health. I'm tired of reading now. The universe, yeah, exactly. I'm tired. All that reading. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, everybody! Shut the door! Look how fast that wiggle is! Shut up, everybody, and watch!
So I'm doing something different. Doing something different. So I've got this here. Ready? So uh, the wiggle is, I'm going wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now I'm turning my hand to this. You see this? And that allows me to wiggle, wiggle. I can't, I can't do it and show it. But I come up here and I go, let me, let me try to do it again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Piss. It's too hard to do with my hand uh, hanging like this. I can't do it. I can't do it with my hand hanging there. It works really good when my hand's by my crotch. Like it works perfect. Look at that. I just wiggle like three times super fast. I'm going too fast now. All I gotta do is slow it down. Like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, it's free now. Yes. I spent four hours today not being able to do it. It's not free. It's definitely not free, but it's much easier. three in a row get out of here get out of here sorry my day, mom. speaking of things that are free is that what you're talking about it's bad he did it himself oh your mom could do it i thought you meant she was free like and stuff sorry 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 yeah now i'm getting excited Oh my gosh, yes, please put the game in. Put the game in, everyone. No holding back now. Crap. Double crap. Why isn't it working? There it goes. Piss the run, first try. Got it. Ah, pass. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chunk some of this shit. Mm -hmm. Spaceship. Don't you tell me I gotta not lose it, though. Now I don't have any time left of the stream. That guy sh shit himself right there. Come on, now I'm thinking of the other and I can't think of this. Spaceship! Come on! I just, now I just need to get there. Yes. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it is a thing in the in this world. Now I'm not gonna be able to do because I can't remember. Okay. Oh, but it was all really good. It just didn't work. Damn it. And wait a minute, huh? Maybe I, I did it a little too fast, maybe. Duh. Oh, 
Space Peen! Yes! It's, it's, it did it! It's perfect! We're in there. It's a funny. <sighs> we get one shot at Jaws today. That was a little slow. We're gonna lose a little time here. No more, yeah, no more sound commands right now. Then you get the head. Hey, oh, damn thing. I miss with a cannonball. Ah! That's all right. It's easy. It's free to get there now. It's free to get there now. I missed with one cannonball. Free to miss there. Fine. I'm good. It's fine. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and Colonizer, did you see my new shimmy into the encounter? See if the encounter shimmy still is nice. Be nice. Yep. Let's go slash incoming world record. Perfect. Ah, I missed the stupid shell. You're gonna need a bigger potion. Missed the stupid shell. Mm, decent. How we doing? Welcome. Thank you. That was weird. I don't know if that's gonna work. I did it messed up, Lee. M messed up, Lee? Oh, that's weird too. We should be fine. Perfect. Shit, not fast enough. I'll catch this bird for you. It ain't gonna be easy. My first shimmy was too fast. Took me all day to, to get to here. It was too fast. There is no bathroom. Took me all day.
that's like frame perfect shit there. My first one's messing up. Anyways, I gotta... I need to practice that and let that sink in. I can't stream more today. Today's not a day that can do it, but that's exciting. Uh, Colonizer, I don't know if you were there for it. Uh, it actually makes that last shimmy really kind of easy. In fact, it's you end up going too fast more often than not. Let me show it in real quick. Now, so today, guys, I didn't get to Jaws because I couldn't get into the second encounter. I had a case of the yips. I just couldn't get things to work. But essentially, in the second encounter, I'm kind of smothering the D-pad with my, my thumb. All of the shimmies in the second encounter, actually, all of the shimmies really in the game are rights to lefts. So at the beginning, I'm using three fingers to go right, left. So I'm going down, right, left, right, left at the beginning because I can go really quickly. But when I try that at the end, I'm getting up inputs because I got to get my, my finger down here on the thumb and I'm getting some weird uh, inputs. So what I'm doing in the second encounter now is I start off holding just like I would normally hold the controller and I'm going, I'm leaning down but when I move my finger forward, I'm pretty much centered here. But I, so I center my finger in between the encounters and then I lean down. So I go down, over, down, and then I'm over here and I'm right centered across. My first one, I'm just gonna go back forward. I'm just gonna roll my thumb back. And then for the second one, I go up and then I have the controller like this and I just go, you don't even have to go fast. You just do that. So you don't have to worry about being fast because of the, the lever that you have on the controller. That's fast. I, if I did this, it's too fast. It just goes like that. Yeah, Colonizer, if you've got a way to work, I'm just excited because I've this way kind of works for me. Let's see if I can do it a couple times. There was two of them there, I just didn't get them timed right. The first one was late. <laughs> now I'm messing up the first one. Perfect. 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 It's so much better. I mean, there's three in a row free. Uh, let's go for four. Four. Let's go for five. Ah, uh, the first one was off, so that doesn't, I mean, it counts, but the first shimmy was the problem. There's five or six, or whatever it is. The first one was wrong again. I'm a little late on the first one. I go a little earlier on the first one. Perfect. Again, earlier on the first one. Now that one was, uh, that one was a mess up. It was a mistake. First one was off. First one was off again. If I'm getting that early encounter, the first one's not good. First one's off again. Perfect. Anytime I'm getting the first one, the second one's free. So, it's hard to explain how huge that's gonna be for me in this run. That's the only spot that I have major problem. 
Today, I only got into the second encounter like four times. Yesterday, I was doing better. Something was happening today that I couldn't figure out. Uh, that changes things a lot. How many times did I miss that wiggle today? A hundred? I mean, I said over and over 69 times, so I must have missed the wiggle a hundred times. Uh, so being able to get it, even if we got it one out of five, uh, I would have been into that second encounter 20 times instead of four. Uh, and I'm going to get, uh, I'm just going to get better at that wiggle now that I, now that I understand it. It's, it's, is just, is free. I'm going to probably get there 50% of the time now. Once you get that, yes, the second encounter is not free, but more practice with the second encounter. I'm going to get lots of Jaws fights tomorrow. I was at 500 attempts starting today, so I've got 260 attempts today, and I would say half of them, so 180 attempts get past the first thing, probably. That's crazy. Yeah, now maybe every 10 runs get to Jaws. And I had some really good Jaws fights today. Let's do it one more time before the end of the stream. Let's get one more. It's free. Uh, your username keeps making me think of Baconator. Well, quit it, Dr. Jules. Don't do that. Oh, unless you want to. If you want to, go ahead. Yeah, Scar, I mean, it, now with a little bit of practice, it is free. That one, I, I had a down input in, so maybe it's not free. But that, I mean, I'm just doing it super relaxed now. Perfect. Easy game for shark baby, baby sharks. Made me hungry. I'm gonna have some bacon tonight. I'm gonna have bacon and sausage tonight. Stop it. Oh, that's so huge. So huge. Okay, Sweems, thank you for joining me on the old Tic Tac, holding down the side of the Tic Tac today. That is the end of the stream. Uh, does anybody have a suggestion for a raid on Twitch? Bueller. That's what she said. <laughs> Bueller. All right, we're going to say goodbye to TikTok. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody over on TikTok. Hey, goodbye. Matt D's mom. We don't raid Matt D's mom anymore. I don't do that anymore. Joey Mittens is on? No way. I don't think I'm following Joey Mittens. He doesn't stream much. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody get ready to type into the chat, Joey, how are you? Are you guys ready? Everybody needs to type into the chat right now, Joey, how are you? Everybody. I want 20 messages in the chat saying, Joey, how are you? Are you guys ready? We're raiding Joey Mittens. Joey Mittens is a fantastic freaking human being. And if you are not following Joey Mittens, there is something wrong with your brain. I didn't, I didn't mean to say it. Sorry about that. But ladies and gentlemen, please give some support over to Joey Mittens. He's such a great guy. Uh, super, super nice. I love hanging out with Joey. I can't wait to see him at uh, Nest Fest. He doesn't stream a ton, or at least he seems like he hasn't been streaming much lately, so this raid will be perfect. Everyone jump in. Get ready to say, Joey, how are you in the chat? Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow, Jaws attempts. I'll probably start off with Jaws, and then if for some reason we can't put together a run, we will jump to Super Mario Brothers 3 later on but Jaws is feeling really good. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. I had a fantastic time. I hope to have another one tomorrow. Have fun, be safe, and we'll see you. Bye-bye. See ya. Go on, Joey. How are you, Joey? Do it.